Hello, a beautiful evening. Hey, Nuriyuki. Hello, a beautiful day to you. How you doing? Uh, how's football? <laughs> I know it's a perfect time to stream. It's E3. It is football. Um, obviously. Uh, well, I, at least I would say Twitch is now the place for all the all the football entities together. <laughs> Ekeseb, hey, nice here. The stressful week, salami. Mm. Was my week stressful? Not exactly, but like um, I'm struggling this week again with um, hay fever. Don't worry, I'm not a hardcore football fan. Even if it would be fine, Ryuki. Even though I don't care about football, doesn't mean I have anything against people that care about football. And <laughs> I'm a person of wee blood. That's the way to go. But yeah, that's the spirit. Obviously, the wee the wee blood is more important than the football off. Dayton, hey, nice to hear. I didn't expect you here, to be honest. Aren't you like? Don't you have to watch football? But I'm really happy you are here. The the true coffee weep is showing. <laughs> Stop. Apes unfortunately has to play uh, herself a game of football so she can neither watch the stream nor the football game right now. Are you averaging it? Multitasking, I see. I see. I'm very proud of you, Dayton. I'm very proud of you. Mm. Unfortunately, we don't have a budget cam today. For some reason, it's not working um, after we disconnected this camera again. Uh, yesterday we had a second camera angle and this camera was used for it and um, after disconnected it today the cam is not working. I don't know, my, my boyfriend will probably fix it soonish. <laughs> um, yeah, but today we're without it. This game is over because 3-0? Is it already 3-0? It's Saudi Arabia versus Russia. See, I, I have no idea what kind of game is being played. I don't just know that a game is being played because it was topic on my Discord. Um, is it already 3-0? Then I agree, 3-0 is pretty over. I'm a, but it's a good game, right? Because, uh, I mean, any game where more than like one goal is, is done is, a, is, a, is, a, is an above over average game. Oh, it's fixed, really? Okay, let's check it out. Putin didn't want uh, Saudi to same group, so he can talk to some... Oh, Putin, Putin did want the Saudi to be in the same group, so he can talk some to the Saudi Arabia princess. Yeah, I don't know if it works that way. I mean, it might be. Like, the, the football... Uh, football... I don't know. They are corrupt. I don't know how you would call them, but the foundations, the football... Um, hmm, let me see. It's not showing up. Oh, it is showing up. It is showing up. Okay, there we go. We do have a budget cam. Cool. The cuties. Wait, this is not from today. It's. I don't think it's fixed. Uh, because I put uh, I put actually a millet on the and unless they threw it off. Also, it looks too bright to me. I put a millet on the left side uh, outside. Let let me check if this is real time. Maybe they threw it down. Let me check. Yeah, this is this is not live. Uh, like this is image from yesterday, Timo. Um, a, it's not as bright, and B, all the batches are right now outside eating millet. I put them a millet. Uh, I put them some millet outside uh, already quite a while ago, um, and they are right now all outside uh, eating that. I don't know. I don't know how that's possible. I even restarted the uh, Raspberry Pi, so it's strange that it still has that from yesterday. Well, anyways, let's get started. Um, let me start the game. D 
Didi. This is the best high resolution batch image you've ever had. <laughs> really? I don't know. Is it? Is it better quality than, than usual? But yeah, for some strange reason, the um, Bachi shows us right now uh, basic, like the Bachi stream shows us right now footage from yesterday. Uh, it's a real, it's really strange behavior. They're not moving, it's not real time, the swing. That's not what it is about, Dave Dunn. That's not what it is about. Russia and Saudi are both playing shitty football, to be honest. I can't imagine that, I, or I don't know. But like, isn't it still more, uh, like, okay, even if, if they play shitty football, isn't it still more exciting if they shoot a lot of goals? Hey, Neuronic, a beautiful day to you. Nice to hear, how you doing? You predicted that they would make the group? Uh, give me a second here. I need to... All right, here we go. So we are we are fighting Chester right now. We left off there on Tuesday. I didn't finish him on Tuesday. Honestly, the problem on Tuesday was I was just too hungry. I'm doing oh fantastic. That is that is that is fabulous, my neuron my dear neuronic. I'm 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 great. I'm great. Thank you. Tough group they were in. Russia wasn't a tough group. Well, I don't know. Like I don't care too much about football. I I just think it's more exciting to watch if uh, a lot of goals are shot. Like I do sometimes watch a game with friends and like I hate those kind of games that go like o o or one o and the one goal is like like uh, made in the in the last minutes. That's why I always say you should probably watch like the um, you would should probably watch like the uh, first 10 and last 10 minutes of every game. I like World Cup, it's cool. Yeah, I do like to watch, like, it's not that I, that I hate watching it, right? You watch Overwatch League? I do watch Overwatch League, yes. Uh, not all of it, but some games I think that are interesting. I wanna watch, it's just I don't wanna see Russia versus Saudi Arabia. I wanna watch South America. Like, the thing is, uh, I, I do watch when uh, like whenever World Cup is. I do watch one or another game because friends do watch it, right? Oh shit! I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> uh, no, there are no German Overwatch teams, Nariuki. Um, Overwatch League so far has only like they have like they have uh, tons of American teams. Then they have like a uh, a Korean team. Uh, they have a China team, like Seoul Dynasty is basically representing China. Uh, then we have, no, Seoul Dynasty is representing Korea, obviously. Shanghai Dragons is representing China. Uh, actually, there is only a London Spitfire from Europe, representing Europe. Um, but they are adding new spots next season, and uh, so some more representatives will will join. But actually, Overwatch League is a perfect example for why I don't get the whole... Um, like, I don't mind being fan to some team, right? Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I for myself, ch uh, cheer for Dallas Fuel, by the way. But it doesn't have anything to do with where they're... Like, where they're from like they are not even from dallas like just like in football the players that team uh recruits like are from all over the world right so so i i don't get the whole thing like because i live in germany i have to cheer for the german team or or even further i'm in i like why would i be in any way entitled to what the german team does like um I, like that sometimes like goes a little bit too far for me like it's not my achievement what the german team does so i mean you can still be happy for them to win something right but sometimes the entitlement just goes too far in my opinion 
Yeah, exactly. It's just pure nat nationalism, and I don't really understand that. Yeah, um, in Overwatch League, there are a ton of uh, Asian players, obviously, because they're really good. Um, and I like I like Dallas Fuel, but uh, but like that's that's what I mean. Like you, you, I I understand being interested in the sports. I'm interested in Overwatch League, and I like Dallas Fuel for the players. I like also some other teams, um, and that's it, right? And if I would be interested in football, it would probably this be the same. Like I would I would start to sympathize with some teams just because of the players they have or the spirit or how they play or the spirits they have, stuff like that. Not why because they are playing for a certain country or for a certain town um all right you you loyal to me how can you be from genus island we already had that but since i don't i don't know uh, if who who already had this dialogue so we're just gonna come uh, repeat it uh, i know i know what i've done okay you don't need to do this Please, just hear me out. Dejanto! Oh my god! Thank you so much for the sub! And a beautiful day to you! Thank you! Give him some sub hype, please! Welcome! I hope you had a beautiful ba week! But please, just hear me out. I only wanted to use the demon's power to make Felgana into a strong and powerful nation. I was just going to ask the people of the island for their assistance. I never gave any orders to exterminate them. I swear. <laughs> How are you doing, Dejanto? Wow. Okay, you don't actually see it on stream, but this is... Okay. What? It's not shown. At... What? Okay, I I I have above my game right now a, a sunny a wink, like the text for the emote. It's not shown on the stream, I believe, because I don't see it in the preview. I I actually have to wait. I actually have to show you. This is like super strange. Wait a sec. Yeah, this is this is more important than the game right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, I posted it, it in chat. It's it's super super and it 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 like it it basically showed after Dejanto subbed. So this is this is a little bit strange. Okay, it's gone now after I after I tapped out of the game and back inside the game. It, it was a mistake. I never intended for things to turn out the way they did. It's, it's the God's honest truth. I swear it. Please believe me. It's not my fault. I always mix up the streamers I prime up Now you are the lucky one. <laughs> that is true. It is your first prime sub to me. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. I, I, I really appreciate it. I feel flattered, and uh, it, it it's a pleasant surprise. I will take. <laughs> uh. How pathetic! Even now, you still seek to worm your way out of all responsibility for what you've done. I don't imagine the men, women, and children you sacrifice are of the same mind on this. All of this, every last bit of it, what was caused by your own foolish ambition and greed. You will pay for your crimes against my people, first in blood, and then I have no doubt your immortal soul will follow. I've told you before, you are not to interfere. Where's Idol? Edel, oh, you mean Edel? He's he's he over here. He's he's stepping in right now. I mean, the students with hundreds of thousands of subs—it's kind of pointless to sub there. Well, I wouldn't say it's pointless, right? Because the, after all, like to be a, uh, to be like a, a full-time streamer, you need the you need the 
the subs, right? Permanent, the subs, permanently the subs. So whenever you feel like you want to support the streamer and you wanna want that the person stays a full-time streamer uh, and you can afford it, it's very reasonable to give them a sub. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're starting to me, the only difference is I'm not a full-time streamer yet and I want to become a full-time streamer. But still, uh, you should always like, I I'm like, I'm not even, okay, like, if you stream to other people, I've already said that to Megals too, and uh, like I, I do understand, and like I'm never like expecting the sub because uh, I myself uh, only use my Prime sub right now because I can't really afford subbing to other people. Um, but, but when I used to work full time, I obviously also sub to multiple people. Uh, it's always good to support the streamers that you that you care about, uh, that you want to enjoy full time. Um, to give them subs if you can, only if you can afford it, obviously. Four O, wow, lots of golds. It's more or less. Mm. So I like I, I just wanted to say like I'm not in the opinion that just because somebody already has many subs you shouldn't sub to them anymore. I mean obviously you can still decide to give it to someone smaller to push them. Um, but I'm just saying like uh, basically both needed to 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 be full time streamers, right? <laughs> I used to uh, like I used to too like when I was full time working I used to sub to many people but I can't afford it anymore. <laughs> But as soon as I can afford it again, I shall uh, again spread the subs. Yeah, that is true, Dejante, that is true. Let's make the chat weep again. <laughs> this is my affair. It does not concern you. If you insist on getting in my way, I'll cut you down just as I did Doggy. Uh, how did this work again? Oh, okay, 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 I remember, I remember! Okay, okay, it's, it's, it's warm-up try, all right? It's warm-up try, it's all fine. Oh, oh shit. Ah, oh, fuck, I got the timing. Okay. <laughs> hey, Solonev, this was the very first try. Good timing, a beautiful day to you. This was the very first try. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still not bad. Like, I, I, need to, I need to learn the timing again. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. At least I'm like, I'm like fit right now. So our hope is kind of to, uh, um, to basically do it before my uh, focus is gone again. Obviously, right, the first tries are like kind of getting into it again. Ah, oh, shit. Like, obviously, I still remember. Like, it's not like what we did on Tuesday is uh, totally uh, in vain. But, um... Again! What's going on with my game? Okay, I this time I have a Hey Guys. This time I have a Hey Guys on, on top of my game. What the fuck is going on? Um, cool. I can't wait until this fucks my tries up. Uh. Stop fucking spoiling, Akisip. Ouch. Ouch. 
It did randomly disappear after a moment, but I want to know what's going on. Why do I get randomly... Uh, okay, I want to see if maybe... No, my bot's window is over there. For some fucking awkward reason, sometimes above my game Twitch emotes appear. Like Twitch emote text appears. Not the actual emote. The text for the emote. And like, who... Hmm, Noriyuki posted a hey guys. <laughs> Chester uses the power of Twitch to gain more power, yeah. God damn it, okay, this is really strange. Well, but today we have like, <laughs> worst case, worst case, we have today two streams, right? So if I, uh, do I, nah. what am I talking about? Obviously we are gonna do it, uh, we are gonna do it without a uh, break, right? Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ah, uh, hoo hoo that was close. That was so close. Boss fights bore me so much, you're lucky you're fun at least. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave, then. Honestly, I like watching boss fights, uh, hard boss fights. I don't know, but I, can't, I, like, I, I get why it's boring for other people. I mean, I still, I still really honor you guys for sitting through with me, um, really. But I actually myself enjoy watching that on other streams. I don't know why. But like the tension of the of watching a difficult boss fight and like uh, always thinking, or like, is the streamer gonna do it now or not? Yeah. After all, like even though all the tries in general are boring, you wanna see how it's done. Like you wanna you wanna see uh, the moment it's accomplished. So that's what's fun about it, I guess. Hey, Edge Dragon! Nice to hear again. How you doing? I agree. Sami is boring. Just kidding. Love you. Wow, that was that was that was a quick turnaround, Neuronic. You didn't even give me the or I'm too too slow in reading chat. You didn't even give me the chance to feel hurt. <laughs> How did you connect your PlayStation Four with OBS? Oh, um. This is not on PlayStation 4, I use my PlayStation 4 controller on my PC, but I also stream PlayStation 4 and that's by using an Elgato. Let me see, maybe I can get it into the cam. Yeah, this this device over here, it's, it's an older version, the newer versions look a little bit even tinier and cooler. Uh, the Elgato is basically a device uh, which has an HDMI input and HD, uh, HDMI output. You connect your HDMI cable from your PS4 into the Elgato and then you have a micro USB you can connect to your PC to get the, uh, the, get the image converted to your PC. Uh, the Elgato is, um, is also uh, supported by OBS so you just have that as a, as a, a video device uh, as source available in OBS and then you have a HDMI output to plug it into the monitor monitor you wanna uh, play on. I'm doing fine, hope you're doing good too. I'm doing great, thank you. Just two more days of work left this week. Yes. Though, is it two days? Are you working Saturdays too? I tried a little 4K streaming today with OBS and it's crushed. Oh yeah, 4K streaming is, uh, you need a 
you need a really good CPU for that Nuria key. And uh, I mean, you don't even have to bother with it because as an affiliate, you're restricted to uh, 3,500 Mbit per second. Uh, not not Mbit, 3.5 Mbit um, by, by Twitch. And that's not enough to stream in 4K. Yeah, this month I also work on Saturday, so it feels bad. Oh yeah, I have to catch Naruyuki stream too. Yeah, but like, you don't have to really to bother with streaming in a 4K Naruyuki. There are, there are several disadvantages if you do that. Like, if you actually, uh, like, if you actually, uh, get the bitrate from Twitch you need, you will have a problem that people will have to buffer because it's too much data. Like people with a with a worse internet connection will have to will buff will have buffers all the time. Um, especially because you won't always have the quality options uh, by Twitch. Only partners have that permanently. Only par partners have permanently quality options. Uh, Secondary, as I said, Twitch re re limits your your bit rate anyway. So even if you stream in 4K, it's the end result for the viewer is not going to be 4K unless you're a partner. <laughs> and then, who actually can watch 4K original source? Like who can actually watch 4K, right? Um, there are, there are just several disadvantages if you go for that high resolution. 144p yeah that's a little bit low i hate good quality anyways i don't understand the quality i play my games on 4 to 3 res my screen and game resolution of 4k if i stream it uh it will be in oversized um no you it's just downscaled Nuriyuki. that doesn't make the quality worse like i am streaming in 720p I mean, the problem is, Nuyuki, you can't stream in 4K. Like, even if you stream, configure OBS to stream 4K, the end result on Twitch will not be 4K because they, they limit your output. Only if you're a partner, you're not limited. So, you're just stressing your PC over, over for no reason. Um, and you have an option in OPS to scale it down to either 1080p or 720p. The quality isn't reduced by that. It's just uh, like it is reduced, but like for people that watch in 720p or 1080p, it's gonna just look sharp. So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I get that, Nuriyuki, but uh, you're not gonna get the best graphic by streaming in 4K. Because if you stream in 4K, Twitch is gonna uh, compress it. So it's gonna be worse than if, uh, if you scale it down yourself. A difference between 720 and 1080, not that noticeable. I do notice it. Like, I'm streaming in 720p and I watch some other 1080p streams, right? And I do notice the difference, but I... Uh, for the games I play, it's fine. <laughs> exactly, downscale. Exactly, the downscaling is is well, it's not better, but it you don't lose sharpness, so you don't have to worry about that. But you should downscale it yourself in OBS because if Twitch does it for you, it's gonna end up in shitty quality. Time to smash Chester. Uh. By the way, is is the sound a little bit uh like the game sound, is it a little bit lower than usual today, or is it just me? Oh shit. Manchester, is this a new football club? <gasps> uh. I'm too close.
The meanest thing about this battle is... I knew that would happen. The meanest thing about that battle is uh, how long it takes, actually. Uh. Now, is, is the sound, like, lower? Okay, it could be my headphones, actually. Okay, there we go. The, I, as much as I love the option to adjust the sound on my headphones, right? As much as it's a problem with streaming, because, like, I never have the same volume you guys do. This fight takes about five minutes tops if you dodge a lot. Yeah, that's kind of long, isn't it? Like the, my, like, the thing is, that's also why I struggled so much on Tuesday, right? Um, like, I'm not getting the optimal amount of damage in often, even if I dodge well. And then, like, just over time, I am, like, making a mistake getting hit by a laser. And if you're getting hit by a laser once, it's, it's already almost over. All right. I mean, honestly, if you if you watch today the first time, I think the battle looks easier to do to you than for the people that watched on Tuesday, <laughs> because I I base like today we're playing with me already like having established the main strategy and how to dodge the shit, right? So, but like at the start, it's it's like a lot harder because uh, the only reason. He's not as dangerous is because we stay far away. If you get close to him, he's like a lot more dangerous. Yeah, that was a little bit greedy. And I shouldn't jump into him. And we didn't even reach the second phase so far today. <laughs> but we will, we will, we will. It's all good. Like I, I, I don't I like I already have a way better start than, than last time, right? That seven hour stream was a practice stream. Yeah right, it was, it was, it was. Now, actually, I should have ended the stream way earlier. Like, what I, what I should have done on Tuesday is end the stream way earlier, eat something, come back. That's what I should have done. But I was stubborn. Like, I, wa I was way... Like, I was basically... I was, like, way... Uh, over the limit, you know? Ah, shit, that was close. Hi, second face. Ouch! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was so super unfair. I can't even... <laughs> he just teleported inside me. After, like, first teleport, throw a fireball into my jump, then teleport inside me with fucking sword slashes. That, that was like, that was like a super bitch move.
This isn't his final form. No, this isn't. It's like that was, uh, I think, the. Like now, this is the second form where he starts teleporting. Yeah, it was like he was reading my mind, right? It's like he was a fucking prophet <laughs> of, like, where I'm gonna jump and where I'm gonna be. Not like Monster Cracker Buster Challenge, I can tell. Yeah, like, they are. Yeah, if you're too far away, and that's what I mean, like, I'm not getting the optimal damage in because I'm staying most of the time very far away to be safer. Um... Ah! Oh my god, I thought I would get hit. Ouch. By the way, is he immune to magic? Because my or is he just immune to uh is he just immune to the earth element? Because my earth element never deals damage to him. He blocks all your magic? Okay, I say so there isn't some fancy strategy of like, I don't know, throwing some fireball in, in while you're uh, dodging his shit. This try is pretty over. I did dodge, yeah. I was like fighting against human bosses for some reason. It's more fun than against some huge monsters. Me too, Solnev, me too. I like it too. As I said, I like the design of this boss battle in general. Like the second phase can have some RNG, but I do like uh, like strict patterns and not too much RNG, right? And just like, basically just patterns and reflexes. I like avoiding bosses at all games that include them. <laughs> mm. But at least we will get a boost some time. But yeah, I thought maybe there is some fancy strategy where you throw some fireballs at him while you're dodging. Not that I would be good at that, but like... Also, I'm really bad at uh, changing the elements fast enough to use my block then. Shit.
Ah! Ah, no! God damn it, fucking birds. Bitch! God damn it! But it's okay. It's okay. I'm actually feeling a lot better than on Tuesday. Ever uh, how to make a character feel like a big piece of shit? We play the same boss fight 350 times. <laughs> Ever heard of LO isolation? I mean, look at our HP 303 and his HP 5250. How is he so superior? Like we're level 42, I believe, or 43? I don't know. How? You sometimes can disable his shield with fireball and it will reset his pattern. Oh really? Is that worth it? Well, what I did sometimes was dash inside his shield, right? Because that kind of had the same effect. He would explode and then reset his pattern. That was actually not too bad. Maybe I should do that again. Yeah, not worth it. If she had the same HP, she would have already won that as true Edge, Edge Dragon. Alright, Nariyuki, you have a beautiful night. Thank you so much for tuning in. I also feel like he starts almost always with the, with the same order right like the first move set is the same i mean he does this one really often anyways but still Ooh, that was the again the reflected fireball like that one right i i dashed into his um i dashed into his uh shield that caused the explosion and it kind of re uh, resets him too. Yeah, this time I didn't dash into it.
Ah, fuck. That catched me by surprise. Damn the fire! Okay, I I, th I threw it a little bit when he like I didn't expect the switch into second phase and took way too much damage there. After that, I did kind of fine, but the fireball the fireball spam is still pretty evil. Um. Yeah, it was it was it was still enough. I agree. I'm getting hit there sometimes by the fireballs is A, I, I think I can run from them and B, uh, I'm trying to jump as late as possible to always like have a good time window uh, I don't know, I can't, I can't really explain it very well but like it, it turned out better for me to always jump late on the fireballs. <laughs> it gives me a better time window against the possible uh, lands. The funny thing is if I'm low on HP, we get more boost, so the fight goes faster. Though, so that's kind of cool, but obviously we... I don't think we can survive the second phase on this HP amount. Uh, yeah, okay. And me. Better later than never. But yeah, that's the thing. I want to jump late, but I don't do it at all. Or I jump, or I like I still get hit during the jump, you know. Like that's that was one fireball where I could have been easily hit. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm playing it too risky with the fireballs. Ah oh, fuck! But then that happens, right? I play it safe with the fireballs, just jump instantly, and then like I don't have the time to get back into the air for the lands. Like if I don't jump at all, it's actually the best that it can just react to the lands. <gasps>
Yeah, I have to be more careful to not jump into him. You can always alternate between jumping and shield. I don't I know I know. The problem though, the the shield staggers me very easily, right? I I usually just use the shield like uh for the AoE and after I attack him. Right? So I don't take damage by his counter attack or explosion. Um and then sometimes like really rarely uh, out of reflexes because like I don't know my jump timing was bad uh, so I tried to use the shield for a lance that would hit me and that very rarely it works um, because after you use the shield you are kind of staggered for a little moment it depends so enough it depends I feel because if he doesn't use the lance there, right? I do agree, it's not a bad strategy because like if he uses the lance, he will block the lance with it. But if he doesn't use the lance there, uh, you can get staggered by a fireball or like, I don't know. Because after you use the block, you like kind of like, uh, you like a short moment uh, like caught in that, uh, in that movement basically. If you mean the landing uh, after I dodged a fireball, you mean that one. Also, it steals time from me if uh, I actually already dodged the lance with my jump, right? To uh, it, steals, it steals time for me to deal some damage to him. I do it sometimes when I think uh, I might get hit by the lance. Hey, Brand and Castute, nice to hear. I'm great, thank you, Castute. How are you? Beautiful woman and not the beautiful dudes. It's very rude. You've got glasses? Oh shit! New? New glasses? Did you wear lenses before or, or is it completely new? No. Yeah, that was mean. I got staggered there by the fireball into the lance. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, your old glasses were broken, so you got a got a new one. That's kind of fucked and pretty as fuck. <laughs> it's compared to Sammy, I let that count. <laughs> wow, you have one year without glasses, and now you uh, you're uh, experiencing life in HD again. I used to wear glasses too, and honestly, um, I could wear them, still wear them, like, or I could still wear some again. What, like, one of my eyes is fine, and the other eye isn't quite as good enough, so if I would drive a car, I would have to wear some glasses. Mm. But yeah, um, I also just stopped wearing them. But as I said, one of my eyes is fine. Johnny Bravo? What kind of cartoon is that? Never heard of that. Oh shit, feels bad. I mean, to be fair, I think when we're like reaching second stage, we should at least have half HP to have a chance though. Like now I'm I'm kinda like, yeah, let's let's give up this run. Um Because I feel like unless I'm like super lucky, I'm gonna take some damage in the second stage, uh, second phase anyways. My eyes are really bad, but I'm refusing to wear glasses. <laughs> my eyes used... Like, the funny thing is my eyes used to be really bad. I wore glasses in elementary school. And then I just stopped wearing them uh, when I entered fifth grade. And, um, like, middle school. And, uh, like, my eyes were super bad. Then I, I just didn't wear glasses for, like, two or three years, and then I went to a doctor again, and my eyes actually became better uh, during puberty, during the teenage years. A lot better. A lot better. Like, to the degree that one of my eyes is actually fine and doesn't need glasses. Feels weird to see the world so clear and sharp, right? <laughs> I remember that feeling, too. When, as a child, I wore my glasses for the first time. It was all super strange. I sure did, and I know what you're referring to. Why Johnny Bravo never got ladies, I will never understand. What? He was a hunk, let's be honest. Damn, that sounds like some shit I should check out. Did you watch the E3 stream? No, I'm never, like, really um, following it live. I, 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 I check out the trailers afterwards, I wanna say. I watched the Kingdom Hearts trailer. Um... But I also saw that actually, uh, I don't know if, is that game? I think it's actually called, it's a, it's a great game by German developers, Die Gilde. And I think actually they used the same name in other languages too, but I might be wrong. Uh, it was a kind of very cool RPG style game. Um, that I played when I was really young. And like, and I actually didn't know they they would um, put in, they would put in, uh, or they would release a third game. It was a game where you basically, it's, it's RPG style, but you, but it's also kind of a little bit like middle-aged medi medieval simulation. Uh, you like would choose a job and, and a class and you would, uh, Make some money. It was a really cool mix. The best uh, PK. What is P PK? Uh, I'm real bad with abbreviations. Do you mean Gilde? I like that Dragon Quest X comes for Steam. Oh yeah, Dragon Quest obviously is also always cool. Though I don't. I'm not sure if I would play it. Not rather play it on console, but we'll see. 
Middle aged medieval met 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 a me 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 nice. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. A uh, press conference. Yeah, wait. I have to actually check. Uh, I think actually, like, I think they didn't translate the the title. Um. Oh, they did. It's the Guild Three. All right, they did actually. That's funny because yesterday I, I watched looked at the site with all the E3 games and I'm pretty sure it said um I mean I'm not sure this game is going to be good but I, but the old game was good. I love the old game. I didn't know they would release a new one. All right. Well, that, so that kind of surprised me. And also, I like, what I also want to check out, which I didn't watch yet, is um, Beyond Good and Evil 2. I think they uh, hopefully released some more material on that too. Don't link porn in chat. My favorite moment of East 3 was the 27 seconds of the new oldest Elder Scrolls teaser. Oh, oh and obviously, uh, new Fallout. Uh, looking forward to that too. There was more, but I don't remember. <laughs> Are you going to play the lesbian of us two? What do you mean? The last two of us? Uh, the last of us or two or what do you mean? Wait, but the last of us... Do I, I don't know what you're referring to. Ouch. Well, that could have ended worse. For example, if he decided to swing with his sword at me. For beyond- oh, for beyond good and evil too. Ready to drop nukes on your friend. <laughs> if that friend is brand, I'm so ready. <laughs> Uh. It's not! Stop trolling, Brent! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We already had my moment of embarrassment for not getting the reference, alright? You don't have to add to it. Uh, I'm going to poop in your toilet and I will not flash. <gasps> oh. <gasps> uh. Well, good thing you're not invited over here. Oh, if you if you nuke me, all right, all right, that's a fair, fair deal then. That's a fair deal then. Hey, Polymechanica, nice to hear again. How you doing? But you need to nuke stuff in Fallout 76? Yeah, obviously. But I don't necessarily have to nuke Brand. I have again, it's, it's so hilarious. I have again uh, a Twitch chat emote above, above my game. I have to show you. We can do it for you. <laughs> uh. I 
I'm going to pull behind your sofa and blame the dog. Oh my god. Branch. This pooing thing really escalates. Uh. Ah, I fucked up. At least we got an early boost, huh? Actually shouldn't have boosted anymore. It's already too late. Nice to hear again. How you doing? I think you're seeing the same you saw last time you were here, right? You were here on Tuesday. But today we're gonna turn him into cheese! Today it's the end of Chester. I mean, maybe not this try. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Ever heard of Revenge of the Poop? <laughs> no? You saw the c oh the comments yeah we oh but this was actually we were watching we were watching some videos as a break from Chester yeah the condensed version of Final Fantasy Seven was was hilarious true that's but it was actually a break we took from Chester will this invite me sometimes after needing every one it gets lonely outside I bring the drinks. <laughs> Did you know that some bacteria used to make cheese grow on your foot as well? That is why dirty feet smell like cheese. I mean... Yeah, I, I'm not sure I heard it exactly that way, but yeah, I know, I know that like it's referred to like that the feet smell like cheese sometimes because of the bacteria. But I'm not sure that bacteria is actually used to make cheese it's just like related to cheese bacteria all right springbok enjoy your meal thank you so much for the lurk all right i i think it's time that i focus a little bit again uh that's a good start to focusing let's start now
Ouch! Bitch! No. Ah. I just, just noticed you've changed your profile pic. Thank you. It looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I ha already had that one on Twitter for a while. And I, th uh, I thought it was time to update it on Twitch too. <laughs> one year later. <laughs> no, not that much, but yeah. Uh, sure, but no touching my va waifus. <laughs> Uh, sadly, the next Elder Scroll is only in post-production, so it's gonna be a while before it comes out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Elder Scrolls just take a while. Any thoughts on Cyberpunk 2077? So the thing is, I've already seen like an image of it. I've seen like that it was big on E3, but I didn't watch the trailer so far yet. So uh, no, actually not. I have no idea about it yet, but I'm I'm gonna check it out. Did you see the new Digimon game? <laughs> no. As I said, I didn't really watch anything so far besides uh, the... I, I only watched the Kingdom Hearts trailer and... Uh, um, the new Fallout trailer. That's the only stuff I've watched so far. Ah, uh, damn, that was a little bit... Uh, <laughs> the punishment. We're still gonna keep going. when that happens. Yeah, sometimes I also uh, think I'm out of the A AOE, but I'm not. Hey, Xenomorphiga. Uh, I'm sorry for butchering your name. Nice to hear. Welcome. How you doing? Me neither. Oh, there is because there is no new Digimon game. Is that the joke, Brand? Very classy. Doom Eternal. Didn't see that one yet either. Probably the soundtrack will be like 100 times better than the game. Yeah, Doom running and pure ki killing. Love it.
All right, chat. No! I just wanted to hold a speech about how I'm gonna perfect it now. At least the first phase. And then that happens. What am I gonna tell you now? Maybe, uh... Hey, chat! We gotta do it! 1 HP the dream! Again, the bitchy, uh, oh my god. I, I don't remember. I know I want to say the bitchy something. I don't remember myself. It's fine, chat. We all missed out on that. <laughs> uh. The dream, yes. I mean, between perfect, uh, perfect, and uh, one HP, there's nothing, right? Every second information is rewritten with Chester. <laughs> but it's true. <gasps> Like, my, my brain is in Chester pattern, right? If I don't finish a sentence during one uh, cycle, I, I, I don't remember what I was about to say. My only dream is an unlimited supply of Nesquik blended with the finest... Damn. <laughs> of Nesquik blended with the finest milk and served by made cat coats. But isn't it Android cat girls? So they don't age? Brand, do I know more about your dream than you yourself? Ah! Yeah, it's, it's Nestle. Yeah. They are like all other big brands. They have some real dirt on them. Uh, the, one of the biggest stories about them is how they uh, released... Uh, oh, God damn it. How they released... Uh, um, it was uh, some milk powder, I believe. Why am I pressing? Oh my God. Some milk powder, I believe, um, that killed actually babies. That was like, I think in the 70s. Like that's one of the biggest public stories about them. Oh, last year too? Probably. <laughs> Why does it make you sad? The streamer knows what you like. Isn't that a good thing? So I guess this this particular streamer doesn't care about it. <gasps> we would we would play uh, we would play uh, Digimon if she would care. God damn it! Bitch! Unless you know too much. Twenty-four hour Digimon stream. <laughs> oh.
The second story was about how they uh God damn it, it's too long. Uh Coconut oil farmers and how they destroy the ground. Oh. Abuse the the farmers, yeah. They even like uh uh take land from people and stuff. But I mean, the thing is, like all bigger brands have that sort of shit on them, right? Oh, okay. I need to focus from the start again. This cannot continue. This cannot continue. This cannot continue. Ah. You're getting your ass kicked because you never stream Digimon. <laughs> oh, it's no problem, Cassie. It is not your English. It was just uh, it was just the the typo in this that threw me a little bit off. And but obviously, like. This isn't a true Twitch chat victory if I'm not reading Twitch chat messages while um, defeating Chester, right? <laughs> oh, not hitting a stationary target. Feels good. I feel like I'm a little bit too greedy with my evasions, like there for example, I didn't have to get hit by that fireball, uh, I just felt like nah, I don't need the double jump. Greed is massively strong. Stop being greedy. <gasps> yeah, I don't know why. Like it's it's not a it's not a um conscious decision, right? It's like just my my AFK brain decides to go for the flashy. I don't need to jump this. I'm fine. Oh, super close, by the way. Already happening at two thousand six hundred. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, it makes sense. It's half HP is two thousand two thousand six hundred twenty-five. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Brain Brain wants to make it stylish for the viewers, acting for views. <laughs> It wants to show up, okay? And what do you think about the game Jump Force, where it's all the anime stuff in one game? Jump Force? I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't hear about that one yet. It looks interesting, brawler or whatever they do with it, like a brawler. 
I'm not, it, or it depends. I'm very picky when it comes to brawler, brawler type of games, if I like it or not. My favorite char is Goku. So it's kind of like a, a brawler game with all sort of anime characters, or what? I mean, I, I, I loved uh, playing Super Smash Brothers 64 with friends. But I don't play it alone. I don't know. They even got Death Note in there? <laughs> oh shit, okay. Barrier. Yeah, jumping into the barrier triggers me a lot, but especially because uh, lots of bad shit could have happened there. I do wonder if blocking damage actually uh, is uh, feeding our boost too, or just if we actually take damage. Like, I know it also uh, slowly fills up while we are um, damaged. But you definitely get a boost from taking damage. I wonder if blocking damage does that too. Not as an emo show. If you want to proper plot and story, you have to watch Bible Black. I mean, you're right. Death Note is an emo show. Um, it doesn't change though that I laughed it when I watched it, but that's also a long time ago. I watched it when it was still pretty new. The animations were amazing. Like everything about it was just amazing. And I was a teenager, perfect age, just to, like, I don't know, it's a perfect teenage show, isn't it? So close, yeah, under 1k, this is actually a first. I think 1100 was our closest before. <sighs> I just always want to get hit at the start. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, I didn't even want to boost there. Okay, 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 okay. It's it's fine. End me. Can I take power ups at this game? No, there is no really. Uh, there is no health items. There is no. Um, the only thing you can buy for sixty thousand is a one-time revive. Like you can only use it once in a battle. You can only have it once. And we are possibly gonna do this for the last boss. But I don't want to do it for 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 him because it's cut as I said it costs sixty thousand, and I feel like we can do it without. Google for Bible Black when you have time. It's a very major shirt. Nice story. And I'm gonna note it down. Like uh, I actually do have a list for for anime uh, animes to watch. Um, Bible Black. All right, there we go. Soldat is cupping like it's it's like it's it's rather a fan service show. <laughs> like like Brand is trolling me. The bomb has been planted. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, I'm I'm gonna notice very quick if it's not what you say it is, friend. That was bad. Looking at my HP and was like uh, being triggered about uh, not getting the timing right on how many attacks I can get in. Oh my god! Uh, what does mean weeps in German? Weep, weeps. <laughs> there is no German word for it. It's, it's like we we say weeps in German too. Team fallback. Let's hope she doesn't have diffuse kit. <laughs> if you want a funny anime that will make you hungry with a sprinkle of fan service, Shogeki no Suma Foot Wars. Oh, I think that's already on my list, Edge Dragon. That's already on my list. No, Geek is, Geek is uh, a different kind of. 
Weeb is, is a is a it's just an internet word. It stands for basically uh, anime geeks. It's geek is geek is like is like nerdy, right? Weeb is like anime geek. There is no German word for it, really. Like Germans say weep too. It's it's like a, a in, it's like a, a word that was created uh, on the internet, just like waifu. Have you seen Ergo Proxy? I think so, Silanef, but I'm not sure. If you're interested, I have a list. It's not complete. Oh shit! I think it's broken though. Like I I have a list on my anime list, but. Uh, for some reason, some of the features, yeah, I think you can't see it right now, but I do have a list. Um, I watched tons of animes in my animes in my teenage a uh, years, and since then, I, um, yeah, I don't know, like two or th three times per year, I have a little bit of an anime phase where I watch like I don't know two or three animes and. That's it. I'm usually not very up to date with the newer animes because on my list there are still animes from like, I don't know, 2013 and shit. <laughs> so I, I like to say that I'm always like five years behind on all the anime business. <laughs> it's not true. I did watch some newer ones in between, but. And my taste did really change, like, I, I realized that, like, in my teenage years, I, I also watched uh, more funny stuff, more... Uh, also ridiculous stuff. I don't mind that now, but I, I like usually more serious stuff now. I also actually can't stand animes with too much fan service, to be honest. Like, if it's too much and the story doesn't progress, it just bores me. It's not that I have anything against panty shots and stuff, it's just like... If like, half the episode contains a fan service, I'm just bored to... I'm just so bored that I'm gonna stop watching it. Hey, King Snaker, welcome back! Nice to hear you again, how you doing? Pokemon is very serious anime. <gasps> what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> Just like Digimon, right? Okay, now I have to go watch anime. You gave me ideas, thanks and have fun. Yeah, you, you're welcome. Take take this try. <gasps> oh. Yeah, let's still finish this try. Fine. I'm good, thanks, Hi, Do you have any progress yet? Yeah, we got we got some progress. It's it's good. Um my thumb doesn't hurt, I'm more focused, I'm not that hungry. We are we are actually equipped to beat it. Uh, I just need to go edit and like focus from the start again. It's a really great anime cyberpunk, like, yeah, um... What was the name again? Let me let me note it down. Ergo Proxy. I, I, it rings a bell. It rings a bell, so um, I, I definitely heard of that before, so it's possibly already on my list. Maybe I even watched it. I don't remember. It, it depends how old it is. Like, honestly, when I watch... Check my own list. 
there are so many animes I watched and rated and that I where I don't exactly remember what happened. Like when I look at the image, I kind of like, oh yeah, I know the character. Then I read the plot and I'm like, uh, okay. And it's in the 2000s, then I might have watched it. I might have watched it then. But I will check it out. God damn it. It's because I used the shield too late on the whirlwind. I was out of out of um, timing. All right. I want I want to try where I focus right from the start. I stopped watching anime too recently. Well, I didn't stop like overall. Like, okay, there are years I didn't watch a single anime. I had a very long break, um, like after I moved out of home, actually. I moved out when I was 17 and I don't know. I think I didn't watch any animes until I was like 22 or something. I don't know, five years or so. And now it's like just because I also watch, I, I love to watch TV shows too. So, um, yeah, and sometimes I've watched one or two animes and then I'm back to watching some TV shows. But I, I wouldn't say I stopped overall and I probably will never stop overall. Like sometimes I, I, I want to watch an anime and then I do. Some weeks when I don't want to sit at the PC, I got my, go to my couch and watch anime whole season series. <laughs> yeah, that's right. God damn it. Mm. Yeah, wasted boost. I thought, actually thought I wouldn't get hit. Mm. 
<sighs> cats on the legs don't allow me to get up. Oh, you have cats, Edge Dragon. Some weeks when I don't... Uh, I, I still can't remember the name of that anime that I watched last time. I was thinking about the whole week, but I can't remember. It's fairly new. I did watch a newer anime too this year. It's about the war between famous real people of different eras, like the good and evil. Oh, Drifters. I didn't watch that one. My favorite anime is The Simpsons. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, what I watched was... Um, mm, mm, something with like... Uh, something with like... Um, zero life? No, reset life? I don't know. It, it, the... The, the name was kind of like Reset Life or Redo Life. It was like, I think it was uh, from last year. Or it's at least not that old. And it was about a dude that wakes up in a medieval world. And he's always... Um, Re-Zero. Yeah, it was Re-Zero. Two cats, that's nice. Uh, exactly, it was Re-Zero. And he's always like... Uh, it's like a hedgehog thing where he's like redoing his events again and again. My Little Pony. Still waiting for the second season of Drifters. Uh, ReZero was, was pretty good too. I mean, I think they missed out on some potential story-wise, but uh, it was still a good one. Why do I always want to take damage at the start? Wasn't fair. Oh, my fuck. <gasps> all right, all right, all right. We're still good. Okay, you try. I agree, I agree on ReZero or I agree on Drifters. Like, ReZero was uh, pretty exciting. It was, uh, like, it, it was definitely good entertainment. Let's put it that way. But like, what I didn't like about it, uh, without spoiling it, I think they missed out on many story opportunities. Like, looking back at it, the story wasn't as deep as it could have been. Like, I didn't like the, the turns they took. Um, like, they could have gone for, like, way more lore, basically. But they went for a more shallow story. Uh, also, it's, like, a little bit teenage-y. Like, the, the relationship development uh, is, is not very mature in, in the... Like, not very relatable, let's put it that way. Maybe relatable for 12 years old, but um, both. <laughs> um, but it's it's nevertheless, it's very exciting, uh, good entertainment, and still um, has a good base concept to it. Overlord is on my, on my list, I didn't watch that one yet. Cyber Team and Akihabara was lead as fuck. What's Cyber Team? Do you mean loot or do you mean... Okay, okay, okay.
No! Mm, oh! That was close. Damn it. Maybe you should plan and we watch anime together stream? That would be great, Edge Dragon. I would love to watch anime together on stream, but it's really difficult to find an anime I can stream on Twitch, which doesn't get me in trouble. <laughs> Especially because I'm from Germany. So, uh, the licensing in Germany is actually, uh, like in Germany, a lot of animes are licensed. That's also why Crunchyroll as a German user really sucks. Like, Crunchyroll doesn't have much to offer for you as a German user. Um, it's, ki it's kind of difficult to find animes we, are, we could actually watch together uh, uh, on Twitch. The pro like, the thing is, I have to find an anime that's neither licensed in Germany nor in America where Twitch is sitting, right? Because if it's licensed in America, I get trouble with Twitch. If it's licensed in Germany, I get trouble myself as a as person infringing copyright. Uh, I watch it with subtitles always. I, I hate dubbed, to be honest. Honestly, only when I stream games we listen to English dub and the reason is because uh, I like to synchronize uh, the games and if they have like a mix of voicing and not voicing it's really awkward if it's voiced in Japanese because I don't want to read over the Japanese voice, right? Um, but if I, we wait until the Japanese voice finishes and then I read it in English it's even more awkward and takes forever.
Wow, that almost threw me off. The reflected fireball. My brain was like, ah, do what? Do something. And I was like, nope, it's okay. Ignore it. Lucky. All right, Springbrook. Thank you so much for the lurk. Have a beautiful evening. Yeah, I wanted to mourn, and then I decided it's fine. Double jump! <sighs> I've crunch roll too and the uh, add on to Chrome to watch it with all the content, not only the German offerings. Oh, really? There's an, a, a Chrome add on? Oh, it probably is an IP proxy than Edge. Sammy, what is your favorite type of salami? Um. I don't know. I actually have not much knowledge about the different types of salami. But I know there is some really tasty um, Italian salami. And yeah, you can have all the puns you want to interpret into that. It just tells you more about yourself. Have fun self-reflecting. Yeah, it was really intense.
I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe I should just always drop with the dash. <laughs> I did press the dash. What is the rich of your name? Oh, I already told that all earlier. It's the salami tactics. Maybe she wanted to name herself Sami is Almighty, but that was taken, so she went with the next best thing. <laughs> ah, ah. I wonder if salami is good in Germany. I would say it's okay, yeah. But no, uh, the, it was actually the salami tactics, but I was like 14 years old. It's The story is a little bit longer. Like, the short version is it's from salami tactics, but the, the story is a little bit longer. Uh, me and friends, we, we kind of came up with uh, nicknames. And we went for abbreviations or stuff that would rhyme on our original name. And the only thing we could think of... Uh, but what rhymes on Sami is like I already had a nickname, but <laughs> was Salami, and I was like, we all were like, that's super dumb, and then we we're like, yeah, but maybe Salami can also stand for something else, and uh, then we found uh, the Salami tactics, and we were all laughing our last our ass off about that, um, and that's how I ended up uh, taking the name Sami Salami as a nickname online. Abes, hey, a beautiful evening. Nice to hear. How was your football game? Did you win? And the funny thing is it's uh, like the first thing I mean we all know what people first associate with uh, the salami of a in in a name of a grill streamer, right? We all know as it's, it's kind of like a little bit of a content or a viewer filter I would say I mean, it's, it's, I'm not saying just because you associate with it, you're, you're like, you're like, uh, uh, you try, I guess. Uh, but how you handle, it's, it's about how you handle, uh, how you handle uh, the association with that, right? It tells a lot about a viewer. I mean, everyone associates that, uh, almost everyone, so uh, it's not about associating it, it's, it's rather uh, how people handle it. Most people just ask why, right? It definitely uh, brings up some, some funny, uh, some funny uh, discussions. Five? Oh, oh shit, that's huge. 
But my right uh, thigh said more or less boink. It's about how you handle the salami, actually. That's like actually true. Exactly. No! What? Mm. All right, I want a new try. Give me my new try. Bitch, give me my new try. Where are the batchies? Batchy cam is unfortunately broken today, apes. It doesn't work. I'm not sure why. My boyfriend's probably gonna fix it. But since we, I already started later today, I didn't have the time to fix it. While it's not broken, like, the cam is working, but for some reason, the, the, the stream itself uh, uh, delivers footage from yesterday <laughs> in a loop. Uh, I, I also restarted the Raspberry Pi, but uh, yeah, I don't know, still does that. So it's a little bit more of a complex issue. Let me try to focus here for a little bit.
No! I got staggered by the fucking fireball. Ah! Well, I'd be going to bed now, reading some more, and then sleep. Soon after I leave, we'll have, uh, Sami will have beaten this bus just like with the puppy. <laughs> All right, Edge Dragon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful rest. And uh, a beautiful... Oh, no, it's not the last working day for you of the week. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was the bad luck bringer before on these buses, but I see the rule has changed. <laughs> have a beautiful night. Enjoy your book. Thank you so much. And yeah. We shall end Chester. We can do it, chat! As she says that. Also, I can't really decide. I feel most of the time I do better by just strictly following my pattern. But you then do IT. Slight football hype as well. Like you can do IT. Ha <laughs> oh, the fucking voice. Uh thank you so much for the bits. 100! Holy shit, you're crazy. Thank you so much. But on the other hand, like, there are two ways, right? Just go by the pattern. It's usually, I do a mix. Uh, pattern reflexes. I do a mix of that. Um, and I can't really decide what to focus on more. Like, sometimes my reflexes screw me up, but, like, sometimes also being too strict with my pattern screws me up because my pattern really strictly uh, works out because of the um, distance I have to... Also, if I only follow the pattern, I go kind of brain AFK mode, right? Um, I feel like even though I mastered his movement set, my approach isn't constant like isn't consistent like i change too much what i'm doing yeah i want a new try focus on winning yeah that was it was not run shit twitch has some football emotes wait though that is a super cute football i i approve of that football yeah, the pronunciation. And yeah, you can do IT is also not not wrong. But yeah, Sonaf in a nutshell, you're right. I just should focus all the time. All the time! Oh. <laughs> uh. Hey, Sinister! A beautiful day to you! Nice to hear! Oh my god, these football emotes are super cute! Oh god! Our Garmin mug! Hey! Swing through with some luck candy, thank you so much! Nice to hear! Uh. Yeah, we already need a new try. Kinda. Like, that's bullshit, right? I even hit him with my sword and still get hit by the barrier? How?
Ah, all right, all right. I'm great, thank you. I'm sorry, but I will focus on this try. I try to focus on this try. Yes, focus! <gasps> Thank you. Shit. The problem is I I too often think about the lands. Like I'm not actually looking at the fireball, and that's why I'm getting hit. I'm looking at him. Yeah, feels bad. I mean you try. Okay, okay. Mm. I know I can do it. Usually my focus kicks in when we're getting close to the second phase or when we're in the second phase. When I'm low HP. So I have to like, just have to gather my inner mojo to think I'm low HP all the time. You can do it, not IT. Well, that too. I'll shut up. <laughs> As I said, you're right. The voice was right. It can do both, IT and it. Though IT is a very, very far uh, term, a very big term. It doesn't matter now. 
No giving up anymore. Oh my god! I, I was totally thrown off rhythm there. Bro term? Yeah, a bro term. That's the correct term. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the finals are annoying and it's also difficult to stay in rhythm when you're getting thrown fireballs at from all sides, right? Ah, uh, okay. Lighting on his bubble really sucks. Like, in the end there, I focus. At the start, not so much. We actually uh, were under 1k apes today. That was our best.
I took so much damage when the second phase, like not right at the start, but like I took so much damage there. It was actually a good try before that. Ah. Ah, oh, the fireball spam! Holy shit! It's so rough to, to evade those. Shit shred is being quiet to let you focus, I know. I'm tunnel visioning right now, that is a good thing. That is a good thing. That's our best window of opportunity. Mm. Alright.
hit there by the laser. Can you please stop it? Oh, fuck! Oh. I have a crazy idea that might help you. <laughs> um, okay. Solnef, feel free. Give me the crazy idea. You can level up once. I actually did consider that before. Uh, obviously it will help me. But we tried him so many hours without leveling up. It's kind of my stubbornness saying I shouldn't. You know? This try is pretty over. That's why I'm going ham. Kill me. Yeah, I know, I know. I actually never killed those knights because, like, I never, I, I didn't even king, kill a single of these knights, even though going through that whole area. Because they are actually pretty mean. They deal like, if they hit you, they deal like 90 damage to you. Like the whole time we, we went through that whole area, we didn't kill a single one of them. <laughs> uh. Uh. Not yet, not yet. We might level up, not yet, not yet. feel fresh. That's the reason why.
odd. I didn't- I even saw that I would jump into it. <sighs> Good to see your determination kicks in <laughs> and mix the stubborn. I mean, determination, always, but it's even more that I'm really stubborn, to be honest, I think. But yeah, it's also determination. <sighs> Again, I thought I, uh, I thought I wouldn't get hit by the fireball, but I did get hit. Uh, why? Like I don't know. I feel like uh, my my vision is failing me. Right? I think I'm not getting hit by that fireball, but I am. Again. I thought I wouldn't get hit by that. My vision is failing me. You can borrow my crappy eyes along with glasses, maybe that will help. Oh, I just threw. Good to know. Yeah, I would need your eyes and your... I would need your eyes and your glasses. <laughs> I think your glasses would make it uh, worse. Oh, crap, your eyes along your glasses. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe that will help, maybe. Okay, okay.
<laughs> oh! Hey, Dr. Mo! Reminds me of that movie with Tom Cruise where he got his eyes changed so he won't be recognized by the scanners. Oh, yeah, that was Minority Report. Yeah, it's Minority Report. You don't remember that part? Oh, shit. The best is when he's like, he's like blinded and he goes to the refrigerator and, or the fridge and, uh, he, yeah, kind of gets the wrong food. Hey, you lost to a girl! Oh my god! Long time to see, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah! Good to see you're still around! And obviously I'm still streaming. I'm not streaming Hearthstone primarily anymore. Sometimes, occasionally we play it. But yeah. I'm now a variety streamer! <laughs> And Dr. Mo, also a beautiful evening. Man, these football emotes are so cute. I might even I might even I might even start not to hate football. <laughs> I can't remember shit these days anymore, it shouldn't be new news. <laughs> you need an assistant, Abe, that takes notes for you all day. Oh, I fucked up so bad there! God damn it. I really, I'm not really a football fan, but saw the opening match today while eating a burger menu. Uh, that sounds amazing, Dr. Mo. I'm not a football fan either. looks like a penguin it does right a little bit loving football because of the emotes it has actually started uh, to affect my work because i can't remember what was said and what was decided anymore gotta start doing something about it. maybe a four week vacation will help 
I would go to your chef and tell him exactly that, Apes. The plumber is at my house. I have anxiety. Oh no! Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you have some friends, some family, I don't know. People who can help you. Yeah, actually Apes is already taking notes when we're playing games. She's writing down the plot of the games, if it's complicated. I can't walk- well, you could walk around with a notepad at time all, uh, at work all the time. Sammy Chester is the best team. <laughs> to be honest, four years ago was the last football I watched. I'm not 100% sure which guys are playing for our team. I don't know either who's playing for our team. And I have a similar um, schedule on consuming football like you. I actually have to go to the bathroom. I'll be back in a sec, guys. If you're new to the stream and enjoyed the stream, please consider to drop a follow. And in the meantime, appreciate Mr. Chair, the true MVP here. Uh, and his precious moment of fame. Ah, oh, Apes, Apes is rolling all the all the advertisement. Nice. Thank you so much. I work at a cheap pen and paper is a no-no. Well, you don't have to use pen and paper, Apes. <laughs> I agree. Share hype. Share hype. Mizut Uzil is Mizut Uzil not playing for Germany already for a real long time. I remember him. Oh, Manuel Neuer. Yeah, I remember that guy too. Isn't Oliver Khan like... Oliver Khan is like... Isn't playing anymore, right? He was like a, a good goalkeeper a long time ago. Yeah. But maybe Solomon meant like, kind of like if Oliver Khan was like the best uh, goal of all time. I don't think... Khan is a coach. I think he's just a commentator. Like, not a, a life commentator, but like he's like... Si like in German, in German sports news, he's sitting in these German sports news shows and giving his, his comment on stuff. But uh, he's not a coach, I think. But I might be wrong. Maybe he is a coach nowadays. I just remember him see seeing him uh, in some of these uh, news shows. You were, were occupied with something else? How dare you? <laughs> mm. All right. That feeling when your favorite streamer has more viewers than, than some beats. <laughs> Wait, really? Probably because he just started his stream, right? Ah, uh, the moment, this moment has to be, has to be framed. Like I have to print that and frame that. <laughs> but yeah, he just started his stream probably. <laughs> uh, oh, great. That was super close, but I made a decision. Since I'm not very good at keeping my focus while just following a pattern, I'm playing more based on my reaction now that I know his movements and what it looks like when he does it. Oliver Khan was a good goalkeeper. TH is Z in Finnish? Is it? Oh, because of Savi's name. Also, I want to use my uh, dash more often.
At the start, the dash threw me off and off. That's why I stopped using it. Um, but now I know the timing, so... Now I should be able to utilize it without screwing my timing. Adamas, thank you so much for the follow. Nice to hear. You. Welcome to the stream. Oh, God damn it! I hope I read that name wrong. <gasps> no, I wanted to boost that. Oh my god. Oh sh- Sucks so bad. Damn, again, the transition over into the second phase was a total failure. I never noticed, but these button clicks are so loud. Oh, Abe's already mentioned that multiple times that uh, you can really hear my button meshing uh, through, the, through the stream. Balloon Dior? What is Balloon Dior, Abes? I have no idea what that is. It's something we call Rally English. Just listen to our Formula One and Rally Drivers. What? A trophy for good football players. Alright. I have actually no idea what Finnish people's uh, accent sounds like. I mean, I guess I did hear apes talking already in Finnish. Uh, uh, not in Finnish, in English. But apes doesn't really have a strong accent, to be honest. So I don't consider her a prime example for my knowledge of Finnish accent. English. Maybe Apes is a genius? No, I've, uh, Apes just is very good in English. Apes just says very good English. Yep. Prince! Nice you here. How you doing? Sami Salami Sandwich. Usually people like to refer to me uh, with pizza. Salami Pizza, exactly. I didn't think it did good for you. Me, the master of English. Oh shit, I remember that highlight. Oh shit. 
I remember that. It feels so unlucky if he randomly jumps and teleports where I go to. It's like he's a fucking prophet. What the fuck that clip? I must always think of Sami Sulmani. The f I mean that's only uh, someone Germans think of, right Dr. Mo? And let me tell you, I have that nickname longer than Sami Sulma uh, Sulmani exists. I know many people thought my name was like a was like a, a parody of his name, but it's not. My name existed longer than the, that guy was famous. I hope you have more competence than this guy. That's not too difficult because that guy has like the competence of a sandwich. But yeah, the full one is still there, so you can check what she said before that. Wait, I, I now have to listen to that again. Words masterfully executed, yeah. <laughs> right? Ah. Me, the master of English. <laughs> I actually the don't- The master of pronunciation. <laughs> I think I said some more. The master of disguise. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I actually don't remember what I said, but yeah, I said something that was awfully wrong. <laughs> Not awfully, but like it was it was bad English. And that was the follow-up. No, you don't need to know. Sami Slomani was like uh, that kind of German... It's a German YouTuber uh, blogger style, but also with like, I don't know, some life tips, I guess, but like super, super fake. I mean, I don't know if he's fake, but like he he seems really fake if when you watch him, like I don't know, just just super like there aren't many people I feel that I feel like that about, but like when I watch that dude, like it feels so super fake, like it's really difficult to not to not feel some negative feelings for that dude. <laughs> You dashed with shield right into his laser and clipped through it and you pushed him a bit to side. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I, yeah, I remember that, Solonef. The timing on that was like, was like, uh, was like super, I, I mean, I guess it was kind of a perfect timing. Sometimes that happens that I like, uh, if, if I dash like the right moment, I can actually push him to the side and the, but the laser is somewhere else. Islam Slomani is a footballer that's all Slomani I need to know. Trying to keep my eye on the prize to get this work done. Things getting more tense and stressful at home. Oh no, feels bad, Prince. Yeah, no, he's not a troll, not at all. He's trying to be this like super nice uh, persona, basically. Oh god, terrible start. 
Um, yeah, okay. G give me, give me a new try. Give me a new try. Um, so he's trying to be this super nice persona, actually. Um, but he kind of comes across as a, as a, as just a spoiled kid, basically. With that's not very smart and not very mature, right? I don't know. It's it's the, like I, it's also a long time I watched any of his stuff, but like that's that was was my impression was when I was watching him. Like uh, I don't know, not very mature and trying to get across at this as this like super fancy nice uh, guy, but like. So like the complete opposite of low tier god. Yeah, maybe. When I watch YouTube, there are so, why are there so many stupid fake YouTubers out there? I don't know, but I really get pissed when YouTube is suggesting me some fake ass bitches out there. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's it's good comparable to some of those uh, YouTube grills also. YouTube grills that basically blog about their life and it's just... Like all the stories they tell, like it, it all seems kind of fake, right? It's not like it's not. I'm not um, judging that, right? I mean, it's it's what they want to do on YouTube. Um, they play a persona. It's fine, right? It's just I don't enjoy that content. Like I, I don't know. I want to see authenticity. I like authentic people on Twitch, on YouTube. I like authentic people. I remember this ad that got people pissed because the guy was bragging about his success in his junk and giving life life advice, but it was all fake or something. Oh, there are quite a few. There are actually quite a few YouTubers and Instagram people that are only successful by flexing. I mean, that's not fake, to be fair. But that's actually who they are. Bragging about their... and flexing about their stuffs. So I guess that's something. But I also don't understand why uh, people enjoy uh, watching that or like, I don't know, admire those kinder people. Like you can tell that they're not very smart. They're not very self-reflective, like, I don't know. I mean, they enjoy the life and props to them for that, right? I stopped watching YouTube long ago. I didn't stop completely. Like, there's still some stuff I like watching on YouTube, though it's mostly uh, game content. Um, like, game reviews, uh, game news. Like, I watch Overwatch stuff. Damn, I really should focus. Uh, yeah, okay. While this try is already over, I'm just uh, trying to go for perfect dash timings. That wasn't it. Oh shit! He's even he's even immune actually while he does the whirlwind. That's funny. Here's some actually great YouTube content. Like I, I like to watch Overwatch new lead new stuff because I like to watch Overwatch new stuff. So <laughs> I feel like it's my channel. <laughs> Damn Ebs. I thought you linked one of your videos and I would have agreed to that too. There's tons of uh, exploration. Yeah. Oh my god. Those staging. Those scary. Uh, like. I'm out at 3 a.m. at night. I don't know. Videos is like is like super bullshit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I watch game news. I watch some game reviews, like, and uh, some commentary videos. Though, uh, like, there are also trillions of commentary channels that are very alike. Like, that's can can be kind of annoying. It's not even dark outside at 3 a.m. Not for you, maybe. No. 
It might not have hit me if I didn't jump there. Pressed a little bit too late, feels super bad. Though I really feel like I finally found my way of dealing with it. and you would link some is so predictable. If it wasn't actual dead boy, people would have smiled a little longer ago, yeah. The worst ones are the YouTube drama people that always seem to be fighting with someone. Well, uh, for some reason it gets views if like some like popular YouTubers have beef with each other. I mean, I get if like someone gets their fanbase to text on which is really scary, but don't get pulled into it, you know? Like, this whole YouTubers picking on other YouTubers thing is, like, super boring to me, too. Like, I don't know, YouTube drama is, like, super unnecessary. I advertise when I see a moment for it. Who would you fight, Sami? Which YouTuber I would fight? Nobody. Like, okay, no, it's not true. I sometimes, like, it's not like I've sometimes not seen stuff where I also thought I could talk, uh, I should talk about that. Um, but on the other hand, when I see, like, there are trillions of videos made, like, when, when some YouTuber does something that is, uh, is scummy or something, like, there are trillions of YouTubers jumping on it and all saying the same. It's not like it's necessarily bad videos, but it's just like so oversaturated so quickly that like my, my uh, like I'm kind of like I would only do a commentary on something if I felt like nobody's talking about it or I can actually add something and it's not like all the same, right? Uh, I don't know. I mean, if you check out my channel, I I'm doing like very different like there are lots of very different videos like because it's kind of like my hobby corner i'm doing whatever i feel like uh whatever inspires me um like there's a game review there's some highlight compilations there is a commentary video actually um there is a video where i read uh one of my texts like kind of audiobook style like there's so much different stuff it's just my hobby corner um but I still believe in the idea of, but especially because it's my hobby corner of like just original content of what I want to do. Yeah, this try is already over. Come get me, bitch. Thank you. How much millions to get from Sami Asali? Where do, where do I have to subscribe, apes? I'm this close to Mount. I would fight plenty of people, but people don't listen, so there's no point. If I could change uh, one channel, it would be Smush Games. Save them from whatever company higher ups made them boring. I haven't made a video in so long. You should try doing ASMR. Yeah, many people asked me to do that, but like, I don't know. I, I, I don't think so. 
The problem is I myself don't understand ASMR, so I don't know how to make good ASMR. I also like watched a, I watched an ASMR Twitch stream, like a booby grill, and what she was doing was like... Uh, she, she had a fake pistol in her hand and scratched it with her nails. It was so disgusting, to be honest. I don't know. Like, I, I do get listening... Like, what noise I like is thunder and rain. I like listening to that, so I get listening to that to calm yourself, but beyond that, it's, it's just... I, I, like, I can't grasp the concept of it. I don't even like when people talk close to the mic. Yeah, like, the only reason I do that is sometimes, like, for a little bit, like, as an effect, right? Giving you the feeling of, like, getting closer to you, uh, whispering to you. Like, that's the only reason. I almost jumped into his bubble. Ah fuck, why am I jumping into him? when people whisper in my ear in real life. Smash channel? I actually don't know the Smash channel, but it sounds like it was really good. So guys, you don't like this? <laughs> Uh, new record, yeah, yeah, I know. And again, uh, I made some mistakes when I tr when we transitioned in this into the second phase, but I'm doing a lot better.
Oh shit. No, what am I doing? I've kind of given up on this try, you can tell. I was basically split in between giving up and not, and that's when I started getting hit. They were just people playing games together and having fun. Now, ironically, it's like they've gotten bigger and more opportunities from fronting up and becoming a brand, but their views are down and videos get really boring because they hardly focus on games, and because that a lot of their best talent fit. And what do they focus if not on games anymore? And I made a Pokemon parody? Oh, maybe I know that. I do remember a Pokemon parody. Yeah, I mean, nearly no damage in part 1 and then part 2 hits and total chaos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, the second phase is, like, very chaotic and it's also, like, has a lot more RNG with how he teleports around. Why are we talking about stuffed animals? What happened? I missed some stuff in chat, clearly. I feel like when I get him from behind, I also get in more hits than sideways.
Fuck. I panicked! Oh. God damn it, we're so close! He flips out in the second phase, definitely. But I also panic a little bit there, using uh, using my uh, dash too much uh, instead of like trying to get back into like a rhythm where I stay away from him. I really need to go to bed, but I don't want to. I want to see you beat this boss. I go to sleep. <laughs> no, we're gonna do it. Oh. Uh, Ah. Oh shit. No! Mm.
It's fine, it's fine. I need the stripe wouldn't be it because we took too much damage in the first phase, but it's still good to learn to dodge in the second phase better. Now I don't care if I sleep only four hours this night. I'm going to see Sai beat this chest and dude. Totally worth it. We're having a kick of day tomorrow at work, so nothing productive will be done anyway. <laughs> nice. Feels bad. No, <laughs> I want a new try. Give me a new try. Yeah, I know the, these kind of meeting days too. And on a Friday, that can be like on a Friday, it's actually the worst most of the time. I mean, it depends on the meeting, I guess. Trigger it. It's just. It's just I need to stay on 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 re reflexes. Hey, Basti! Nice to hear. A beautiful evening. Uh, all right, Solonev. Thank you, thank you. To be honest, I actually feel bored at my work. Uh, to the guys responsible for business logic and testing are blocking my work and I ran for a month after them and nothing happens. Oh, you feel bored at your work too? The guys responsible? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, waiting for other people can really suck. I'm trying to get 100% Yakuza 0 and I can't get my Jung achievement and I'm so angry about it, but then I watch you stream and you know my life is not so bad. <laughs> King Snaker. What what is the Majong achievement about? I actually never played Yakuza Zero though. Quite a few people asked me to play it. What what's what do you have to do for the achievement? Take that bitch!
I will read about the achievement after. <laughs> after this try. No. Alright, good. I thought we would get staggered into the lands. That would have been really bad. God damn it! Took too much damage there again. I'm not that kind of guy who always wants 150% of some bullshit, uh, but this is another extreme. I need to have the uh, melts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the melts. What are melts? I've never heard that word. What's the secret of evading that laser attack? Um, it's either being in the air, you mean the the lance, right? Did I get hit by that? I think we didn't get hit by that once though. Um, it's either being in the air at that moment, which can be tricky if you jump before, or doing a dash at the right time. But the problem about the dash is, like that's, I use the dash when you see that block zero. Then I used it uh, successfully, because then block the damage. The problem about the dash though is, it happens with the short delay so you can't like i have to use it in advance basically and also it consumes uh mp like the yellow bar uh so i can't block endless infinite damage with it thank you prince thank you yeah the secret is uh using either the dash at the right time if i do that you see that i'm dashing and there is like a block zero or I just have to be in the air at that moment which I can do by jumping in advance but the problem what can happen is like if I'm already in the air when he uh, when he basically does the laser attack then you get hit by it because you can't like jump again right I mean you have a double jump but still it's it's basically um, being in the air when it when it finishes there I didn't need the dash because I was already in the air. We used the dash anyways because it helps us also getting closer and it's, it's safer. Uh, there I wasn't hit though it was really close. Um...
See, he re-jumped in advance and Burr is still in the air, so I didn't even need to dash because I knew I was safe. It's also the same with when I go in for an attack, I only do a few attacks and then instantly dash for his countermeasures. Right here, we dash again, so we block the explosion damage. Yeah, that is a little bit unfortunate. Blocked the AoE, but then got hit by the fireball afterwards. Here we use the dash to block the laser. And you can see bottom, the yellow bar, that's the MP. The more damage I absorb, the more MP it also costs. So you can't just dash uh, all the time. It absorbs too much MP. Yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, the dash also can stagger you. Like, uh, when you dash, there is a moment where you can't move and are vulnerable afterwards. So that's why we get hit there after, like, dodging the AoE, but then, like, we get hit by the fireball afterwards because we dodged quite late. Jumping into it. Fireball spam can be very mean to, to dodge. I've got a question. If you were introducing someone to anime for the first time, which show would you pick? Like, if they said they would try anything? Uh, it would depend on the person's taste, Prince. Like, for example, I... Uh, I did... Uh, I did recommend Steinsgate for a person that likes sci-fi and time travel, right? I mean, Steinsgate is not the easiest to get into, I would say, necessarily, because the first episodes are just like a little bit weird and... But, but still, it's a great anime and I think people that like time travel and sci-fi like would enjoy that show a lot. Avatar! <laughs> well, it is, strictly it is an anime. It's not considered one, but it's strictly it is. Uh, Cowboy Bebop is a great show for beginners too. Though it's a little bit old now, so maybe, I don't know, for, for, for the young fresh kids. Uh, I mean, I love Cowboy Bebop. It's one of my all-time favorites. Um, but I actually watched rewatched it recently, and you can tell that it's aged, the animations. If they had no preference, then it's super fucking difficult, Prince. Then I would, uh, like, how old is that person? We earlier talked about Death Note, and what I said was that Death Note is a good teenage show, basically. Like, Brand said it's, it's an emo show, and he's right. It's a, good, it's a great anime for teenagers. But yeah, I think Stein's Gate is like, I mean, it's also obviously one of my all-time favorites. If the person likes time travel and uh, like 
science fiction, that sort of stuff, I think Steins Gate is, is a super good choice. Also, it's, it d didn't age as much as Cowboy Bebop, though Cowboy Bebop is kind of a must watch too. For a teenager, though, I would probably uh, rather uh, recommend uh, Death Note than Cowboy Bebop. I think, especially for teenagers, maybe Cowboy Bebop aged a little bit too much right now. And Avatar is a great uh, show to get in to, into it too, actually. Uh, what is it called? Uh, Alchemist? Brotherhood Alchemist? Full Metal Alchemist is also a great show, I feel. Though it has quite a few episodes, so maybe it's not the best to start with, but I feel like it's a great show to get into anime too. Into like the adventurous battle style sort of animes. Yeah, we need a new try. I didn't uh, focus so much. Full Metal Alchemist Brother is the only one you need to watch. Don't watch the other series, it's the same storyline but shitter. Yeah, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is also the one I mentioned, right? I've read Steinsgate Visual Novel. It's, it's so good. Oh, I never read it actually. I just uh, watched uh, it. It's okay, it's okay. I took way too much damage at the start. Oh yeah, Avatar Blu-ray box should be delivered 10th of July. Nice. I actually tried the first episode of Steins Gate. I wasn't a huge fan since I'm not into thrillers and didn't like how washed out the color is. Steins Gate Zero looks a little bit more colorful though and it seems to be pretty funny so I may try it again. Um, Prince, I do... Okay. I thought Steinsgate uh, wasn't was like I didn't get into it very quickly either. Like the first few episodes, I wasn't really sure about it either. I, I definitely would recommend giving it another try. Um, it's getting really really good. I heard they made up their own story because they already caught up to the manga when the anime was coming. Makes me wonder if people even make an animation that the story is not complete. Oh, I didn't know. Then I definitely have to check out the, the manga. The manga. Yes, but if someone's looking into it, they might forget that specific caveat, so that's why I emphasized it. They might end up watching just Full Metal Alchemist and not Brotherhood, thinking the Brotherhood is like a sequel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, clean and blue, true. And by the way, clean and blue, a beautiful day to you. <laughs> nice you're here. I think I didn't greet you properly. I'm so sorry. But yeah, you're right, you're right, I agree. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is the one to watch. Uh. Good evening. It's on my huge backlog of shows now. Nice. 
And Prince, I know the feeling. My backlog is also huge. And I'm only watching like rarely animes these days. Funny thing is, I really feel like I truly mastered the first phase, but it still takes so long, right? That it's still a real challenge to get uh, into the second phase unharmed. Oh, my... And it's obviously triggering me if I, like, take unnecessary damage. take damage there? I did. Wow. Uh. <laughs> no! <gasps> oh! What am I doing? Again, I think I'm not getting hit by the fucking fireballs, but I do. Uh, and even further punished. I don't like uh, Steins Gate Zero. Some story elements are good, but overall there's no point in that novel emo. I've never read it, so I can't I can't really judge that. I just started watching a Maggi Brilliant Park, and it's so much fun. Okay, I never heard of that. I forgot that Germans really appreciate saying greetings and stuff. I usually just come in here and start talking without even saying hi first. <gasps> Is that a German thing? Well, I I'm kind of the same, to be honest, clean and blue, but I I. But, like, it's more like I don't want people to feel bad because I didn't greet them, right? Or feel, like, left out, I don't know. Like, it's, yeah, it's in my etiquette that I should greet people. But I'm not doing it for myself. Like, I, I don't care so much about it, but, like, I know that other people might care. It has an anime adaption. Yeah, Prince Prince said so. Said so. By the way, apes, are you still here or did you fall asleep? My favorite anime is Jintama. <laughs> That's such a classic. No. That's like the worst. Getting hit by the laser is the ultimate punishment. It deals 90 damage to us. Bitch! Oh my god, okay, I'm triggered right now. I'm triggered. 
It's okay. It's okay. End me. Malfur- Oh, Malfurion! My greetings, yeah. My greetings. <laughs> his- his greetings always sound so BM. Nah, I wouldn't recommend Jintama for beginners either, King Snacker. Yeah, I heard that someone, uh, somewhere I think, might have been when I was listening to a German language learning podcast or something. Oh, really? I actually, like, I don't know if that's true or not. I know it's part of my etiquette, so it could be, could be very well true. But I didn't know, I didn't know it might be, like, uh, more than for other cultures. Couldn't get away from it. Funny thing is, sometimes a hair gets stuck between my fingers and the controller. <gasps> I mean, you don't, you won't notice, but when I'm like, uh, get out of the hair. No. <sighs> Long hair problems. Problems? Yes, exactly. Did you see that fireball like high in the air? But again, I took too much damage in the first phase. Finns are not really known to be polite people. We Germans are really nice people who even greet when we invade in Poland. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, that thought is hilarious.
Dude, that was so rough. into me yes bitch <laughs> damn it's sometimes so rough because like also this time when we transitioned into the face he was like behind me all the time like he, it was like he was teleporting after me like it, i i just couldn't get distance uh, between me and him You have equivalent uh, for the word please. Finnish doesn't. Everything is just thank you for us. Oh, okay. Well, but if you say thank you, that's still polite, right? But it is true. We do have a word for please and for thank you, too. That's okay. We just need one try where he doesn't like totally screw us uh, after we go over into second phase. Oh my god! Okay, okay, new try, new try, new try, new try. Do it. I'm alive. Takes so long for this to so long for this to restart. Yeah. Oh, you mean? Oh, I thought. Okay, I thought Prince meant like until we get like second phase again. Like that's also a thing. Like it, it takes a while to get to that second phase. But yeah, you restarted. Uh, you restarted the whole PC or what?
Damn. Yeah, I can't get hit by the lines there. I actually pressed, but I pressed a little bit too late. Oh, god damn it. Takes longer restart than just plain shutting down. It's such garbage. Wait a minute, there is now something I must do. Oh shit, no! <laughs> Did you seriously just link that meme you made of me? The thing though is, the funny thing is, uh, like when I said that, I didn't say that to somebody else. I said it about like myself because we were having issues with the council. <gasps> that image looks so arrogant. Though, not to say that I'm not arrogant. I am arrogant. Oh, I'm throwing. Cool. I mean, if we don't take damage any any more damage until the second phase, we can still do this. Ah oh, no! We took more damage. It's got me a little bit by surprise. I didn't know we were already second phase. Awesome it is. Here you go, I know you, how much you like memes. I didn't even respond to the last person that said to, that to me. What do you mean? Someone just randomly sent me a note on Deviant Art with some meme and I just I, and I'm just like, who the hell are you? It's a true fact though. <laughs> Prince, people just know you. Taking Sammy's words a little bit out of context, but it's so fun and fitting anyway. You ever hear a name in a show and just feel weird every time they say it? Are you? Do you mean by show my stream? Yeah, honestly, I never really hear people say Sammy Zalami, right? That is somewhat a little bit strange.
No. Oh, I didn't get hit. Oh. No, <laughs> I do. Oh, God damn it, and me. Oh, I really have to stop, like, I don't know. I, I thought I would get hit, and I was, like, already, like, in my mind was already, no, it's over. I got hit by the lance. Oh, God damn it. I mean, just your name in general. Uh, uh. Oh, like I'm watching a Maggie Brilliant program and there's this character that has a name that sounds exactly like mine. Oh, I see, I see. If I talk about Sammy's stream at work, uh, people talk about my stream. Uh, I just say the German streamer I watch. Yeah, I, I guess. It's That's enough for me. You don't have to mention my name. It's enough for me that you're talking about my stream. Hearing my name with a Japanese accent, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I can imagine that being strange. I actually don't know that feeling because my name is so super unique. Like my my forename, it literally doesn't exist. So I never met a person with my name. I've never heard my name in any show, any movie, any book. My mom swears it exists, but it definitely doesn't exist the name the way she wrote it down. She she heard it in some movie. It was one of the many names she collected before I was born. And she just wrote it uh, in a German way she thought it would be written. And yeah. Oh god. Is it Samantha? No, it's not Samantha. Mo, you know my real name, don't you? I thought you know it. I believe her that it's not made up that she heard it in a movie, but it's definitely not what she wrote down. I mean, Samantha is not that unique, <laughs> right? If you never heard my real name, you're not gonna guess it. Uh. Oh, you don't? When I still streamed in German, uh, I did... Uh, uh, it wasn't a secret, basically. When I started streaming English, I... Uh, kind of made it, it's not exactly a secret, but like the problem is there was still some stuff you were able to uh, find googling my name, like my address for example, which I didn't want to, that's why I uh, didn't mention it anymore uh, uh, since I went full time. Though that's fixed actually by now. But I'm really curious if now, I might have just forgotten it. Well, the he Sami is my real nickname, so it's a real nickname of my real name. Well, uh, I have to go to the bathroom really quickly. I'll be back in a sec. If you're new to the stream and enjoy the stream, please consider to drop a follow. And Mr. Cheer gets his second time of fame this uh, today. Say hi. Ah, beautiful. I still raiding my corpse. Welcome back, Solnev. Sami Salami is the name we need to know. <laughs> Apes though, Apes though does know my name, so, so she's not curious about it. But yeah, I agree. The chair was, would probably uh, do this first try.
was? Oh no! But yeah, Sola, if you didn't miss anything, we didn't break that record where, while you were gone. I realized I'm too early. Gonna trigger his second phase next time. Controlling Sami, the chair is always the one playing. Sami's just uh, used his hands because the poor chair doesn't have his own hands. Sami has proudly shown off her pro controller, but we know the chair is the real pro controller. <laughs> he tripped. Yeah, it feels like a little bit of RNG how rough the second stage is for us. I would hoped I had hoped to see you progressing though while I was away. Ah, it's fine. This way you can be here when we do it, right? I actually overdue for my break again. But I, I feel like I'm actually doing well right now. So I don't wanna uh, end it right now. Okay, okay. No, why did mm, again? You're doing way better than before, thank you. I'm happy you, you can see it too. It's not just my imagination. Oh, god damn it.
Yeah, okay, okay, this is pretty over. Mm. Getting hit by a lance is kind of like... Oh shit. Ah. Uh. No one mentioned the word dinner break. <laughs> no one talk about food in general right now, please. I don't feel super hungry, but like. It, I feel like it might influence how I feel about that. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I want a new try. Like, we want to have at least 200 HP when we enter second stage, to be honest. Like, we've already been, like, half HP a few times now. And me, a next try, please, is a the theme of this fight, I noticed. <laughs> It is, it is. You try and you try. I need to use my dodge more again. I need to use my dodge more again. <sighs> All right. Like my dash, not my dodge, actually. Not if it's obvious, like here, that I'm not gonna get hit, but... Yep, that was my, my, do I go boost? Do I go in, uh, or not? Okay, I dash. Uh, it was such a good try until then. Hey, I 
Elgavati, a beautiful day to you. Nice to hear. Oh my god, Sami. Oh. Oh, fuck you! Don't run into me! Ah! <sighs> A beautiful evening to you, Elgavati. How you doing? fine how about you i'm great thank you i mean honestly i feel really good even though uh we're on it for hours again i don't feel desperate like last time like last time i felt actually desperate i was really close almost ran into the shield Stationary targets. game that you fought for a long time yeah the ice dragon the ice dragon is still no i actually got short it might be close but the difference is the ice dragon had more desperate time than the chester definitely like the mode i was in on tuesday i kept going on the ice dragon forever and we eventually did it in that mode but like overall it would still feel like the memory of it is still a lot worse because of that. Because the mode I was on in Tuesday, on Tuesday in like at the end where I couldn't focus anymore. I like fought with that against the dragon for hours. Because I didn't want to end the stream without beating it. God damn it. Oh, other games. Tales of Berseria? Which boss in Tales of Berseria? <laughs> uh, it was the um, first phase of the final boss that gave us the biggest struggle, actually. Where you fight, like, uh, I don't even remember the names. But you fight uh, like her brother and uh, 
What's he called? Arthur? Or Arthurs or something like that? You call both fight them at the same time. Um, but that was definitely our biggest struggle. But funnily enough, the second biggest... Though it wasn't like a struggle like... Uh, like the struggle isn't come... Like it wasn't a... Uh, uh, oh, was it? No, actually... Oh, no, no. Actually, the struggle we had on that last boss uh, was, was bigger, I would say, than on the... Um, I felt final boss was really easy, actually. Um, well, what you have to uh, keep in mind, Solonef. Yeah, we still on this shit? Yeah, Tronster, but we are doing a lot better. Um, we were level... I think we were level 42. Uh, on the second hardest difficulty, Solonef. Wasn't it called Nightmare 2? I don't know. It might... Was it called Nightmare 2? No, there was Heart. I think the order was different, right? It was Heart, Inferno, Nightmare? Or was it the other way around? I don't know. But the second hardest difficulty? And we were level 42 or something. We were super duper underleveled. Uh, I actually don't have a PlayStation 3 anymore, Prince. My PlayStation 3 was stolen. Um... I, I just, I'm just thinking, uh, like already a long to time ago, Prince, uh, at the end of 2016, um, uh, they broke into my flat and they basically took almost everything. <laughs> and my PlayStation 3 was stolen too and I never replaced it. My PlayStation 4 was stolen too, but I got a new PlayStation 4. Track him down and steal the teeth. Yeah, uh, but we still did it in the end and it was fun. And the second hardest uh, battle actually we had was... Um, it wasn't even a big boss fight, it was like a mini boss fight in a dungeon where you had like uh lots of lots of aoe guys i don't know it was like two big dudes and i think four or six aoe dudes you know who did it no i don't obviously no those cases are almost never solved i think the the solve rate for these um break-ins are like 0.3% or something like that. I think the final boss was level 100. I think they were level 100 and I was like level 42. Uh, I live in Germany. Uh, the thing is my apartment is on the it's basement level so that's kinder an invitation for this uh, kind of shit. Yeah, exactly. What I'm really thankful for is that they uh, they bro broke in through the terrace, like they um, and but they uh, closed the door to the bocce room. They ke kept it closed, so I'm really thankful for that actually. That they had some brains of not keeping that door open. No, Tronster, that's not true. Maybe if you're, like, living outside uh, of, the of the city, but I live in the... Like, I live in a big city. In a big city, uh, it's mostly gangs that do it. They actually, like... It's, it's pretty common in big cities over here. Like, if you live in a basement apartment in, ci in the city, at least once in your life, uh, people will break into your apartment. No, Tronster, that's what I'm saying. Um, you are fair... Uh, I would agree if you live, like, in the suburbs or, like, uh, more outside. But if you live in an apartment inside Hamburg, in Hamburg basement, uh, it's fucking... It's, it's very likely that uh, once in your life, somebody's gonna break in. Because the security on these apartments is, like... It's basically the, the owner of the houses, right? 
It's, uh, it's, like, I can assure you 100% it's in 95% of these cases it's not people you know. It's just gangs, uh, like, these gangs, like, uh, they organize it, they go in usually during noonish time. Um, a friend of mine, actually, like, though, to be fair, the ones that broke into my flight, they weren't that smart. Most of these gangs only look for ju jewelry and money. Um, the ones that broke into my apartment didn't. Um, like a friend of mine, um, the 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 th thieves actually did uh, clean up. Like they searched in boxes inside their uh, sleeping room, and they put the box put the boxes back. She could tell because uh, all the stuff was differently sorted inside the boxes. And yeah, they're pretty dumb. Like, uh, for example, they stole my Wii, my red Wii, uh, but they still didn't, didn't steal my Wii U because they apparently didn't know that was a console. And I mean, a Wii isn't worth anything these days. Like, I don't know. And they didn't even take, like, uh, cables and shit with them. So, yeah. I guess it was, like, kind of like they even stole a, a, an IKEA uh, bag to take the stuff with them. I guess it was kind of like a frustration thing because they didn't find any money or jewelry. Uh, maybe they did know that the Wii U was and that's why they didn't take it. Yeah, I don't know. No, they, they seriously were pretty dumb in the stuff they chose to take with them. But yeah, turns it's, it's actually a pretty common thing over here. Like there are there are mostly organized gangs, and uh, I know many people that actually the like uh, those gangs broke into and they didn't take much with them, as I said, because they usually focus on money and jewelry. And you can tell they weren't here for the uh, hardware either, because they didn't have any idea about the hardware. They also stole like a super old. Uh, tablet of mine um, they just didn't want to go without anything like the um, they also stole my laptop which was actually very high priced too and pretty new um, but they didn't take anything uh, from that with it so they di didn't even take the um, Power cable, how's it called? Power adapter, I don't know, with them. And uh, what am I doing? Like, they didn't even take uh, that with them. So it's pretty hard to get rid of, like, get rid of it, uh, to sell it. Because uh, it's it was a gaming laptop, right? Like, the the net, uh, the power th thingy, the power thingy, let's call it that way, is pretty unique. It's not like you can use any, uh, laptop, uh, power thingy for it. <laughs> God damn it, I forgot the word. But sure, hey, a beautiful evening, how you doing? Are there weep gangs that hunt uh, for manga anime collections? I don't think so. Ah <laughs> oh, shit! Again a fucking twitch emote on my screen. Not much, I have no luck with golds and you. <laughs> I'm doing great, so... That sounds like you had something going with a girl, or you were interested in a girl, but it didn't work out. I'm sorry to hear that. AC adapter? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. It's like basically uh, like the, the cable for power with together with an adapter. No, not an adapter. Uh, 
God damn it. I I I know the words. Uh Um <sighs> Like, it's basically between the power cable and the computer, right? And uh, if you have like a desktop computer, um, it's inside the computer. It's like, uh, it's like storing the power. Generate... Uh, Net style, yeah. Power supplies the work for the whole thing. I love it, uh, of it if it has an AC adapter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I'm not like, yeah, okay. It's power cord, but like, I mean the the battery. No, is it? No, it's not the battery. The battery is inside the laptop. I'm I'm done. Like, no, it's not storing the power. It's supplying with power. It's difficult to play this game and <laughs> and explain. It, but yeah, yeah, it's next time. It's it's not a battery actually. External power supply. Yeah, I guess that's correct. That is correct. And it's very unique, like you can't use any laptop power supply for it because it was a gaming laptop. So yeah, I don't know. Have fun with that. So it was literally, it literally only sucked for me. Uh, same with my Wii. It was a red Wii special edition. They didn't even take controllers or or anything, any cords, anything with them. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it was literally just they didn't want to go without anything. So they just took some random hardware without knowing anything about it. I think AC adapter is right. Yeah, it might be right. I I, I wasn't just wasn't sure, so I kept explaining. Ding. No. Nope. Here we are again, taking too much damage. The thing is, I'm not even doing that terrible, not even focusing. If someone tried to rub me, I'd beat them over the head with my love art. <laughs> you art book. Oh shit, oh man, I, I need to focus. Oh, okay, okay, give me a new try, please. How much progress did you do on the story so far? Oh, it's, it's above 70%, Dr. Mo, we're pretty close to the end. I think there are two more bosses after this. It's like the third last boss. That thing's thick enough to be lethal. <laughs> Sammy, you bugging out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's some Jason Bourne shit. <laughs> Why not politely ask them to leave?
Oh my god. Why am I... Just this, these minor things. Yeah, the idea is to rob you when you aren't home, right? Uh, that's also I th the reason, the main reason I think it didn't happen again is that I'm like almost all the time home now. One day someone tried to get in my flight through the window. I'm pretty sure he didn't know I was there. I've heard some noise and went to that room. He saw me and instantly ran away. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that was really close. I mean, it's 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 even awkward, awkward if they get in, right? Nine HP, the dream, yeah. I was sleepy and I didn't realize what happened. Yeah, I mean, it's a good thing you you caught him before he did it. I mean, imagine he gets in and like you don't know what he's gonna do, right? So, I don't know. How lo loud is my button meshing actually? Soul Nef uh, mentioned it earlier. I mean, the button mesh in this fight isn't particularly high, I would say. Like, there are games like Bezeria. Holy shit. Tales of Bezeria? I think that had the most button meshing going on. <laughs> stun into chain, into stun, into chain, into stun, into chain. That was like super crazy. Bash machine is not too loud uh, that it would bother me, alright. I mean, it would be difficult to lower the volume of the button meshing without lowering the volume of my voice, uh, obviously. Thank you. 
Oh shit, that sucks. out of mana they're trying to block as many flames as possible wait buttons don't have volume control the only thing i remember from bizarre was those aha aha birds i don't even know what you're referring to right now first thing i'd yell is i'm armed and then play a video with a gun noise on max volume <laughs> You can barely even hear, hear it, okay? You know when some shit happens, you are too shocked. Yeah, exactly, King Snack. I also don't think uh, you would be cool enough to do that, Prince. Or like, it, it's really difficult to react like that in those situations. Like, you're, you're kind of like under shock and it's different how people react under shock. It's like either... Like, some people do uh, act actually like get an adrenaline push and actually act aggressive in a way and others just scared. I had a somewhat similar situation when a smoke alarm went off in the middle of the night. I was so confused and still half asleep that I took down the wrong smoke alarm. <laughs> uh. Oh, I do remember the birds. I did, did. I don't remember that they made these aha sounds. Aha, aha. I mean, I can't. Like, I. I don't know. Maybe I remember it. I don't know. Like when you write it, I can't imagine the sound. So maybe subconsciously, I do know it. If that makes sense. Playing say hell to my little friend clip is the best option. Which clip is that? Sammy sad. So sad. Oh, Scarface. Yeah, that's that's like uh, long ago. I watched that. Oh, shit. 
Uh. Sammy said, but what did she say? What do you mean? Did I say something? Probably. I'm probably Dr. Mo's making a joke and I don't get the reference. It's time to end this chat. Never mind. <gasps> oh. Oh my god, it's so it's so triggering. You do like perfectly for such a long time and then like I screw up there. God damn it. It was actually just a really bad pun. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay next try, please. Ah. You never get the reference! <laughs> Even two things you literally said one second before. Ah. <sighs> Chad, it's time to beat this boss? Yeah. I agree. We've played long enough with Chester. It's time to get serious.
Double dipping is triggering, yeah. I think one of the most triggering things I've ever seen is someone wiping their hands after every bite they take of something. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. This is no that no, that's no way to snack. Stop throwing Dan's game. Smacking sounds when someone chews with their mouth open is triggering. I agree if they if they like do it very a lot, yeah. Uh It's just triggering if I get that far and then like throw up in a in an inch of a second. Not throw up. Throw. I could throw Can you try please. I know I can go perfect the first phase, like close to perfect. Like there is some some small instance where it's bad luck, like getting hit after I used my dash or something like that. That's acceptable. I also can live with me getting the timing on the attack sometimes wrong and getting a little bit of damage after I... Uh, uh. <sighs> I miss Seinfeld, such a great show, true, it was. Oh, that was so lucky. And I think my strategy that, or my theory rather, that absorbing damage also leads to filling your boost might be true. Problem is I don't have time to really look at my boost, gosh. It's more important to look at the chat if I have time to look away. Oh god. Oh god. Stabilize.
time of all these sitcoms with a relative that can never find a date then has uh, some big wedding arc and the couple with the put up, uh, upon wife that needs to be perfect to everyone but the husband that always screws up and that one player friend of the husband that's just a common sleaze character. <laughs> Is that such a common theme? Like, I know in a few movies of that theme, I didn't know it's a very common sitcom theme. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, uh, I, I, I don't really check out sitcoms very often, like, or the other way around, very rarely. I don't know, I watched some sitcoms when I was young, but not anymore. It's way too common, okay. Oh, fuck! This boss man. This, uh, I think it took me like three to four hours in front to beat him, but it wasn't your. F okay, question. When you beat him in three to four hours on Inferno, it wasn't your first time playing it, right? Like, it wasn't the very first time you, you. Like, you didn't play it the very first time on Inferno, right? 
Movement looks so floaty in this game too. Yeah, like honestly, uh, I think like the battle system is very well implemented in this game. Like everything feels feels really good. No, uh, yeah, it hit, the the wave of one of the explosions hit me. No, not the wave. It was one of the um, explosions. Like I landed on an outer circle of one of the explosions and still got damaged, even though the explosion was already over. I just didn't jump far enough. That's it. It was my second time. Did you? I think you played it on Nightmare the first time too, right? Because I think like, okay, like if I, after I beat this boss on Nightmare, um, I mean, but still struggle a lot on Inferno and probably more than you because uh, you have a lot more uh, experience with the game. But obviously, if you already did it once, it's still getting a little bit easier, right? Because you already know the base patterns. You just have to do it even more perfect. What even dealt damage to me? Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, new try, please. New try, please. New try, please. I'm still alive. It was the second time. So you played on Heart, uh, Nightmare the first time too, right? That was uh, an awkward way for me to solve the solution and or in uh, another way than usual, let's put it that way. I was struggling on Nightmare first time playing it too. Yeah, I can imagine a shit. I didn't look at it. Yeah, this try is pretty over. Though I actually do enjoy being low HP and having a boost every time ready. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, focus! all again death elixir thank you so much for the follow welcome to the stream nice to hear yeah i missed an opportunity for damage there but <sighs> rather miss that opportunity play it safe than going in after i already hesitated for a moment yeah true uh, like i mean i Oh, focus, please. All right, all right. I want a new try. I want a new try. I'm gonna make a try where I really don't talk. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shut up. Shut up and do it. 
Uh, Death Elixir, welcome to the stream. Thank you, thank you so much for the follow again. Um. All right, uh, Aves, all right. Have a good rest. Thank you so much for sitting through with me. And uh, have a good day tomorrow, hopefully. Show, show Chester who's the boss. You got this. Good luck. See ya. Uh, just shut up and do it. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um. Take a break for this, and then I'm gonna just shut up the whole try and. Uh, and do it. I wanna talk. <laughs> oh sh Okay, you try. <laughs> Can Sabi do it? And try just focusing and not talking. <laughs> That's the new challenge here. No problem, invisible high five for Ireland. Oh shit. Invisible or not invisible, virtual high five back. From Ireland. I actually was once in Ireland. It's a long time ago, but I was there for two weeks in Dublin. Alright, again. Yeah, I screwed up there close to the second phase again. Sabi looks so serious like she's gonna cut some throats. 
We need you try please emote. I usually play on easy the first time around. Uh, I like the challenge actually, Death Elixir. Um, it depends also on my schedule. Like, uh, it sounds dumb, but sometimes like I know I don't want to get stuck in a game, so like. It depends on the game, it depends on my schedule, like if I know like I want to finish this game in a certain amount of time then I might not go for the hardest difficulty, but I know like uh, I knew like we wouldn't finish ease in one go anyways. It was kind of like a side game at the start, so um, and then I like actually going for the challenge. But it depends, like uh, it changes over time too, like there are times I, I want to chill a little bit and there are times I, I want to have a, a challenge and yeah. Playing first time on Nightmare, my own genius plan. <laughs> uh. When people pronounce E's uh, wrong, it's really triggering. Do I pronounce it wrong still enough? Is it not E's? I thought I would run into the bubble. Say it like yes. 
He does it right east. Usually people say Weiss or something like that. I actually uh, thought it was called Weiss the first time too. Like you. Well, it's not a word, so you can't blame someone who never heard it. I'm sure you called it uh, Weiss at some point too. Yeah, I called it Weiss the first time too. Well, I heard people talking about this game before I started playing the series, so I had the right pronunciation from the beginning. But yeah, sometimes I had that feeling in my head so, to say it diff differently. Mission, don't get triggered. <laughs> Oh, that's very unfortunate. Oh my god, <laughs> rip me. Uh, I mean, we were too low anyways, but like, it's also the, the transition into a second phase was pretty brutal here. It actually kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You kind of want him to go uh, teleport away. Oh shit, I already threw. You try. You try, please. You try, please. Thank you. Um, like whenever he transitions into the second phase, uh, that's actually the most dangerous moment for me. Like, uh, I don't know, because uh, that's it gets very chaotic very quick, and then I need like kind of like to tunnel visioning in there and try to find my my space basically. Was that Sammy's customer service voice? Hello, how can I help you? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. If I was at customer service, I would people tell that the customer service is shit and not gonna help them and that my only job is uh, to, to keep them busy. <laughs> the customers. Keep mashing shield button when he transitions? Yeah, maybe. The problem just is uh, I run out of mana too, and then sometimes I don't uh, realize that I'm out of mana. Ah, uh, this is all... 
Can you try, please? Ah! I need to shut up again. Oh. So close and yet so far. That's how it feels. No. Again, throwing in the last seconds towards the second phase. Alright, I was, I was like, I was like, god damn it. I've tried so hard and got so far, but in the end it didn't matter. Oh no, it's in the end it doesn't even matter, right? away from me.
He's very aggressive this try. Usually he doesn't go for that many sword attacks. Oh my fucking god! Oh, <laughs> yeah, I used my dash too much there instead of trying to jump out jump it again. Actually, I have to clear my nose a little bit. Prince! Watch it finish as soon as I leave. Have a beautiful, have a beautiful day, Prince. Thank you so much for watching. He heard you butchering Lincoln Park song, he's a fan. <laughs> I'm playing Breath of the Wild on Master Mode, if not that hard. It's not that hard. Uh, yeah, I heard that it has. Actually, I didn't play Breath of the Wild so far. You just gotta avoid silver enemies till you get better gear. The master mode is a DLC. Okay. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Link to the past is the one I played most most I actually played really old ones, uh, 
And then one on Nintendo DS. I do have... I always wanted to play uh, the one on GameCube. Which I actually have, but can't play right now anymore because my Wii was stolen. And I had a Wii that had like... Uh, that could play GameCube games too. Yeah, it's okay. New try, new try. So the way you play games, it would be hard for you to stream. You have to grind. There's just no way around it. Well, if if it's not like I never grind Tronster. If grinding is required, usually though, I usually do it most of uh, most of it off stream Tronster. I did do some grinding for East too. Not before this boss, though. Like, there's still the possibility or the uh, option for us to grind a level. The problem is just I'm stubborn and feel that I can do it. Also, you call it the way I play games, but it's not correct, uh, Tronsa. It's the way I stream games, not the way I play games. I actually only came to playing this way because of streaming. I used to always grind everything. Like, that's also why I made the uh, solutions pages for Xenoblade Chronicles, right? By Because I grinded every single thing out which is in the game. So you usually play on super easy? No, it's about uh, not grinding, right? Tales of Berseria, for example, we uh, finished on level 42 or so because I, I don't grind on stream and I like having the challenge too. Because on stream, I wanna usually uh, just focus on story content and not uh, bore the people with like doing side quests and stuff. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, uh, Tronster. I didn't, I didn't feel like you wanted <laughs> to offend me or anything. It's just, I don't like if people like, uh, try, like, both play styles have their advantages and disadvantages. And I, I, that's just what I wanna make right. Grey Warrior, Warrior, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream, right? Um, I just came to appreciate the no grind play style streaming because it gives you so much challenge in games. Oh, God damn it. That usually might not offer you a, ch a challenge, but Ease is not an example of that. I did grind in Ease, but I did it off stream. Um, the difficulty that we get from the boss fights is already high enough that I didn't do like some extreme grinding. I just made sure that we had the levels we were supposed to. Well, okay, sometimes like on, on two or three bosses we were actually a little bit over leveled. But they were still fairly difficult even... Uh, no, it's actually not true. There were two bosses we... we, we we uh, made first try because it was a little bit over leveled. Um, yeah, this try is over. Give me a new try, please. I, I have to like uh, I have to do like uh, some tries again where I don't talk. First time tuning in. Yeah, thank you so much, and welcome, welcome to the coffee weaves. All right. Um, don't feel offended, chat, but I'm gonna go again. Uh, make a try where I don't talk. It's really bad. But grinding in uh, 
B O T W. Uh, da, da, da. Ah, Breath of the Wild is different. There is no level you have to explore and farm materials and destroy camps to steal the gear. You have um, to know your enemies before you engage. Wow, that actually worked out. I dodged everything. Yeah, um, it's not about what grinding is like, um, really. Like, uh, Tronster, I, I, I think grinding and doing side quests gives you often more insight about the lore, about the game, so... I also feel like if people only play, finish a game without doing any side stuff, they miss out on stuff, right? But if you already finished a game, I think it's, it's great to do a run where you don't do any side stuff, just to get some challenging story fights. Like, it's not like I don't like grinding. It's, it's actually quite the opposite, like, I do love uh, getting all the extra shit and feeling like super OP. Though it also destroys some games, to be honest. It, it depends, really. But I'm like, I, I'm like a collection type of person, so I, I do like collecting all the shit. Like, for example, Nia Automata, right? I also didn't do grinding and side stuff. Uh, but I did do some side stuff um, off stream because I was interested in the game and I was interested in some side lore. Yeah, next try, please. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Next try, please. I think it's better without levels in game where only equipment does matter. Just my opinion. Though, does it really make, make a difference, Solon F? Like... I mean, okay, yeah, it, it does make the difference that, like, you can't, like, totally out-level uh, the opponents, I guess. Well, yeah, try it if you... I did see quite a bit of Breath of the Wild, and I really like the kind of open world uh, it has. I think I do know what you mean. It's like, um... Not like a dungeon grinder uh, crawler, basically. Uh, all right, all right, all right, chat. All right, all right. I said like two tries ago, I would make a try where I don't talk. <laughs> Which seems to be quite a big challenge for me right now. Uh... Knights of the Round destroys Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> oh yeah, that is true. That is so OP. Though it's not even... That's not even a level thing, right? It's like just a way to OP um, summon they implemented. My eye, it, uh. I wanna perfect this bitch. Like first face perfect, not completely perfect, just first face. And I've already screwed that up again. <laughs> Hitting stationary targets is hard shit. Yeah, but the way to get it, uh, uh, you have to do some extra stuff, which requires grinding. That is true. Yeah, I already gave up on no talking since I already broke my own rule.
And me. Oh, fuck. Oh! I took again too much damage for his second phase, but also the, the start into the second phase getting hit by the glands was also rough. The thing about uh, Breath of the Wild, you don't know how strong or weak an enemy is until you engage, which means you have to prepare, gather food for buffs and resistance, find weapons. Over time you learn the enemies and it becomes much faster. Oh, that's actually really cool that you don't know that. Okay, this is the one. Soon. Soon, TM.
God damn it! Today's the one. Today is the one. Like, we are gonna finish Chester today. There is no doubt about it. Chester is gonna be cheese. Nobody likes you. Avenge doggy. Oh yeah, that's true. How's Doggy doing, by the way? I don't think he was... I don't think he died. I think he's just, uh... He's just, uh... Hurt. God. Damn it. He's probably punching balls in his sleep. It was the theme of the E series. In each game, there's a moment where Doggy shows up and breaks the wall. Oh, shit. I didn't know. We already had that moment. Yeah, at the mountain, at the ice mountain. also an achievement in the first game he's won <laughs> oh that was hilarious if you make doggy to break five different walls or oh, really oh shit okay yeah we need a new try we need a new try give me a new try give me a new try god damn it okay Snaker, thank you so much for watching and props to sitting through through it with me. Have a beautiful rest.
missed opportunities. Bitch. I'm trying to stay away from him, but he's following me like a good old Starker. Fireball, of course. I still haven't played and used the East game like Ramosa have done, and neither, neither did I finish E7. I think I should give it a try. I heard from many people that they really like the newest uh, East. I just don't really like the changes that they made. Yeah, it's it's really different now, but like, I mean, I guess you should play it first before judging, right? Like, I don't know either if I will like it or not. I mean, not that I'm like a, a, a huge fan of the, uh, like I'm becoming a fan of the East series, right? I don't know much about East, but like, I also like this style. Oh my God, I'm throwing. It's okay, end me. Oh, okay, okay. New try, new try, new try. No.
God damn it! Uh, I'm just too triggered after like I always was. I already was tr like I'm tr I'm triggered the moment we go under 200 HP. <laughs> Funny enough, E's five on Super Nintendo was different too, combat wise. But overall, I did enjoy it. Bosses were too easy though, in my opinion. Okay. Uh... Oh my god! Stop stalking me! <laughs> oh. But again! Uh. Uh. I took unnecessary damage before we even entered uh, that stage.
Yeah, I don't know. This try is kind of over. But I still didn't want to just Sudoku. At least you have unlimited tries or imagine. Imagine they added like a thing like lives into this get into this game. And then you have to start over the whole game. That would be so brutal. I'm still alive? Oh I'm still alive. Uh and that would be super brutal. Five lives and three continues. <laughs> you have to uninstall at 666 death. The 666 deaths we definitely already uh, reached in this game. Oh my god, I'm stop swearing. Uh. That we definitely already reached. Uh. My wrist actually hurts, that's why I'm changing the position for it a little bit. Like this. Yo, I could be turtle in time by now. What do you mean? Which turtle? Oh god, I threw. Alright, let let me read chat. I already reached so why are you still playing? Damn girl, I done tidy my house and made dinner and uh, you still doing this? Obviously I'm still doing this. I could have beat turtle in time by now. Oh Okay, is that like a common phrase? Uh a common phrase? Some common gamer slang transfer referring to the Ninja Turtles game? To trigger it. <sighs> Turtles in Time was a side scrolling beaten up by Konami in mid 90s. It came out on Super Nintendo. Uh, it can be beaten in less than one an hour if you don't die. Oh, I see. Okay. 
Oh my god. Oh, do I actually have to do my dinner break? I think I have to do my dinner break, guys. I think I have to do my dinner break. I'm hungry. And you can tell that my focus is, is going down right now. <laughs> We're so close, though. Uh, well, it's fine. I'm gonna eat something and then I'm gonna return and then we're gonna do it. Um, if you're new to the stream and enjoyed the stream, please consider to drop a follow. I will be back uh, since it's already really late. Usually I would already be back from dinner break. Your focus needs food, yeah. I'm gonna be back. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm gonna be back in like uh, late. I'm gonna be back late. I don't know, in two hours or so. Um, Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you can't tune in later, you can also tune in tomorrow. Though, actually, like my sleep rhythm right now is super fucked up. Uh, for me, it's like 1.15 a.m. over here. Um, so I, we might actually do an all-nighter today. Mm, we're probably not going to e play East all night. Like, we're going to beat up Chester. After that, we would play with something else if I want to do an all-nighter. Anyways, I'm going to be back like in, I don't know, one to two hours more, rather two hours, rather two hours. Uh, I like to also chill a little bit. Um, and yeah, and then we're gonna beat up Chester. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I'm gonna be back tomorrow, probably around like, I don't know, 12 p.m. EDT, 6 p.m. CEST. I'm probably gonna start later again because we stream so late. Yeah, you look pale, you need rest. No, I don't need sleep rest. I don't need sleep rest. Like my sleeping rhythm right now is that, uh, sleeping rhythm wise, it's like for me early evening right now, but uh, I, I need something to eat. Yeah, I'm always pale. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching. See you later, alligator. You want to beat Chester, but he's already dead. He's what, he's not dead. Thank you so much, Death Elixir, and welcome again. Welcome again. Um, also, uh, down in the profile, there is a, is a schedule thingy where you can see when I'm usually streaming. Though right now my, my uh, rhythm is a little bit shifted to later, so expect me to always start later than it says. <laughs> For example, would already be in the second stream right now. Well... Anyways, and also, obviously, I am uh, announcing my streams on Twitter and on Discord. On Discord, you can also chat if you want to, so feel free to join there too. You met another Chester? You mean the Chester cheese? No, which Chester do you mean? What? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Arigato uh, gozaimasu. Um, props to Ch Twitch chat sitting through it with me and still not having beaten Chester. Chester loves Cheetos? Wait, isn't... What's Cheetos? I know Cheetos. Cheetos. Are Cheetos like these cats? I don't know. I'm confused. Oh, the Linkin Park singer. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit. You're right. Oh. Damn. That was actually a low level. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, let's wrap it up with that with that poor joke. That e even that poor joke is too was too much for my brain at this stage. Really need some need some food. Yeah, face palm. <laughs> All right, see you later. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. What should we do with you, Sammy? I think I I think all hope is lost for my case. Focus, focus on the on the <laughs> focus on the younger generation to fix it for the future. <laughs> All right, bye bye.